Uh... Hello, everybody. It is I, a friendly floof stream. It's the floof stream. Stream floof. The best kind of floof. Already a stretch and hydrate. I don't know what you guys think I do. Before Ten years in the head, joint made you a fucking pussy. I don't want to drink a sparkling water. Now. For some reason, I'm drinking my water bottle. Uh, being a floof, so a dum dum. True. So it's been a hot second. I say that, but it has only been like five days. Uh, it's just every time I do like a big block of work and then stream, it's like, man, it feels like it's been months. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it is uh, time for us to play some more Ishin. I am dying because lack of floof. I'm sorry. Allow me to give you your vitamin F. Vitamin F's in the chat, boys. Five days was too much for me. I played Etrian. What do you mean? It's only been three days since I last streamed, but it's been five since Ishin. Um, I have to do a bit of house cleaning before we start. So I did the grind that I specifically said I would do in uh, this game. And what do I mean by the grind? Um, how do I put this in probably the least offensive way? I really fucking hate cocks now. Like this is probably the game that would turn any game in straight because I really fucking hate cocks now. Uh, to explain, I needed to grind uh, 10,000 wood or 100,000 wooden tags. That was the only way of unlocking the item called the golden gun. Chat wanted me to get it. I did go and do it. And boy, howdy, did I apparently pick the wrong time to play this game because just about a month before I started playing, they patched the best exploit for money in my fucking console downloaded the update without my permission so that's fun <clears throat> uh but yeah i have the golden gun now it is uh quite the beast actually yeah it's very nice and golden <laughs> i've also given it some buffs based random updates yeah, so... <clears throat> Killing all the cheese. Yeah, so literally just because of that update, I had to waste, like, maybe an extra four hours because any time I would bet on the clearly, obviously winning chicken, which is what you're supposed to fucking do, it would pick the one that was supposed to lose! <laughs> So I'm a little upset by that. It literally, like, I would pick the one that was going to lose. The one that would win would win. I picked the one that was going to win seven times in a row. They would lose seven times in a row. So I was like, cool. And there's no better way of getting tokens in this game. In fact, if you were to do just poker... If the AI wanted to, they could make you stay there for like seven days. Because <laughs> you can only bet a max of a hundred tokens per like each thing. But I got the golden gun. It was not a fun experience. <laughs> but yeah, we have this gun. Uh, it's bonkers. To put it in perspective, I believe we were using this gun before. The imported revolver, which says 65. This does 515. So it's a bit of an upgrade. I've also moved on to the Kinjimaru uh, Kunishige. And uh, basically what this has done is almost doubled my damage on every stance. And I've unlocked the ability to start using Odachis. I'm close to being able to use cannons. You'll also notice I have a lot more stuff. I found both arms dealers. I found both of them that would have been helpful to this. The one is actually we're right next to, which is Rakugai Arms Dealer. I don't know how exactly to raise his affection, 
which might unlock more stuff because I bought several thousand dollars worth of stuff from him and traded it into the blacksmith to raise its level because they're literally right next to each other. The other place is here. This is the one that was referred to by some of the random NPC dialogue. It's in Mukurogai. Now, the one in Mukurogai is really, really useful because he sells flaming shots for only a thousand, uh, for only a thousand dollars. Or, yeah, for only a thousand mon. That is better than crafting it by almost, and I'm not hesitating when I say this, 400%. You can buy 30 rounds for obviously one or for three Rio. Crafting it is 14 Rio. Or Rio. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, that's not worth it. So I went to Mukuro Guy and I bought 329. So, yeah. Uh, the last thing I needed to do is I actually went and I did a mini game off screen. Now, if you remember when we went by the Shinjo or the Shijo Bridge, we went to the um, we went to the other district. I think it was Gion. Gion hosted a brothel. And I knew for a fact I probably shouldn't show it on stream. It's the funniest fucking minigame in the game, and I literally can't show it. <laughs> it is that explicit, but it is also the funniest minigame. So if anyone is ever interested in this game, I would recommend going that and trying it. It's actually a really fun minigame that requires you to do a drinking contest, which is actually kind of a very weird mini game that they don't explain clearly but it's basically just mash specifically uh then you play strip rock paper scissors and already the fucking warning bells are going off <laughs> then and only then immediately after you have done that you then get to play dodon pachi was not expecting a bullet hell in this game and uh, that's where I basically had to stop because I couldn't get past that. And I did like five tries. It gets very explicit. I would easily get banned. So. <laughs> that is my house cleaning. You'll also notice that uh, I have a lot of virtue. I don't know. Yeah. No balls. No balls. I have a lot of virtue. Platinum plates are the shit. And at one point I was walking around with like 200,000 Rio, but I used it to upgrade a bunch of, of like items and buy stuff for NPCs so that I could progress some stuff. Uh, I also found the best healing item, Deluxe Vitality Pills, and I found All-Purpose Medicine. These are Staminins! So yeah, I found some Staminins, and I've also maxed out both my Sprint and my Inventory. Uh, in doing all of the stuff for money, I also ended up getting max re reputation for Rock and I. And now, allow me to show you how strong the gun is. So, normally we were doing about 12. Here's how much the gun does, if I can... It's quite the improvement. So it'd be like, I did a little bit of grind. Minecraft whole houses, armor tools, and two days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a massive upgrade. I could easily run through the next big portion of the game with just the gun. Uh, I also noticed... And that's how I have it when I'm playing PS5. It's truly the DMC2 experience. Oh, trust me, it is. But yeah. So that's my housekeeping because I actually had to do a lot of stuff off stream because. Oh, yeah. Here's how much a, a fireball does. Let me show you heat actions. Whoop!
Needless to say, it's a very substantial upgrade. Uh, I was sort of unable to do a couple things because of where I am in the story. I actually can't go anywhere near Fushimi right now without triggering a cutscene. So, let's go to Fushimi. Second wait. Is that? It's the priest. But who's that girl he's got with him? お願いしますよ。そう言われましてもね。親御さんが事故で亡くなって可哀想だとは思うけど、こっちも商売なんですよ。この子は。Sorry for that long tangent. That took about 10 minutes. There was a lot to explain. だとしたら、やっぱりあの家を売るしかないよ。それだけは あの家は両親との思い出。だったらどうやって払うってんだ。君みたいな若い娘があの大金を払うなんて体でも売らない。Ah oh, yes, landlords. The most evil job in the world next to bankers. あ、やっぱりダメか。ごめんね。なんとかしてあげたいんだけれど。いいんです、神主さん。神主さんに掛け合ってくれてありがとうございました。いいよ、これくらい。君の両親とは仲良くさせてもらってたからね。協力するのは当然だよ。しかし借金を払うわけか。そんなのないよな。どうしよう。おい、どうしたんだ。揉め事か。あ、斉藤さん。Time for us to acquire daughter.事故で死んだ親の借金百両を払う当てを探さないとこの子はこの家から追い出されてしまうとうんだけどこんな若い子を一人で路頭に迷わせるわけにはいかないじゃないそれにこの子にとってこの家は特別に大切な場所みたいだ
does she owe? Oh, oh, so Ah, uh, I think I know where this is going. We are about to learn how to do cooking. Yeah. Okay. We got crops. So this is something that I figured would have been in this game, but I just never got to this point, so... ちょっと古いけど、畑で野菜も作れるし、台所とかお風呂もちゃんとついてるからね。地主が欲しがんのもわかるでしょ。ああ、確かにな。俺も気に入った。よし、決めたぞ。え?君だって何を？さっき言っ
close. Like, going and looking at all the historical data for samurais, they were, like, property-owning tyrants. <laughs> what I miss? I gave a whole explanation about what happened between here and now, and we just got a house with Haruka. Uh, yeah. Probably any time to speak to the ferryman in Yashimichi. Yashikimachi, dock in Fushime. Outside, you can grow crops, raise chickens inside, and you can cook meals and fulfill trade orders. Okay. The dog arrived, floof, it's time. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear me, you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Truly injecting dragon blood into Haruka. <laughs> She's like 14, <laughs> Misi. So, Saito-san, as for the areas, uh. mm. what should I do? The landlord expects payment of 20 ryo at a time, or 20 ryo at a time. There'll be five repayments in total under the, under the place is yours. He should write you whenever it's time to make a deposit, telling you where to meet him. All right, simple enough. Ah, before we get here, some small contributions for me. A white headband, leather breastplate, leather gauntlets, square seal bleached cloth. Cool. What's all this? A wise samurai can only focus can't only focus on his weapons. This equipment isn't the best quality, but I hope it'll keep you safer. Welcome to your new home! And then life has begun. When all seems too much, stop by and unwind for a rustic abode. In another life, you can acquire virtue, money, but materials for equipment. Such things can make a difference along the roads. Equipment, huh? It's true. I haven't given much thought into the past. Thank you. It's the least I can do. Please, look after Haruka-chan. You too, Floof. Happy birthday, Floof and Mizu. It's not my birthday yet. Basically, we're paying rent, etc. Yeah, Haruka has essentially told us the whole uh, shebang that her parents went into a huge financial debt trying to look for medicine for a rare illness that she contracted very young. And her parents died, but she took on the honor of at least doing the uh, like part of paying the rent or the debt. If she can't, she has to give away the house. We have essentially said, we'll take up the debt. And if it's 20 Rio at a time, that means it's only 100,000 Rio. I've had double that recently, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to get. So, would you mind if I take a look around the place again? Of course, sir. Take your time. Hmm. Why don't I check out the yard first? But yeah, uh, just so you're aware, Meezy, I have... Uh, I've gotten the golden gun. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Storage. I need to put away all these pill bugs I got. I don't know where the hell they came from. Was it worth it? Yes! <laughs> but also, I now really hate cocks. I hate cocks. Oh, I have to pull individually. Yo, farming game? Let's go. We're back at Ijin Samurai. Okay. Or the fishing game for the 10 out of 10. We've already done it, remember? We could just fish at any sort of river. A dual shed, huh? Yes, sir. Please, feel free to use anything we have uh, if you would like to farm. Yeah, we can maintain a vegetable garden. Farm work, huh? Sounds hard. Sounds like hard, satisfying work. Those daikon look delicious, actually. Did they grow them? I did. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid I'm still not very good at it. You can remove them if they're in the way, of course. Hmm. Understood. There are still some tools I need to check out. Okay. 
So we have access to the building also. Oh, wait, what? What am I checking? Oh, this thing. Where's the fishing? Here. Is this a shrine? Yes. My parents were deeply religious. They said this shrine had gods living in it. It's, or just like a temple. Shrines function just like temples. You can use them to shell in your future. Nice. By doing this, you can expand your farm, get co uh, new cooking equipment, and change the interior of your house to build pet shelters. Your life can be much more comfortable and enjoyable if you use virtue <laughs> prudently. Okay, I see. Looks like it, or looks like that's it out here. All right, can we check the inside in now? <clears throat> Rune Factory Ishin? Yeah. Sure, right this way. Time to take a look at the house then. So we have access to this cooking table. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Yes, sir. Right now the pantry's pretty bare, but there's everything you would need to prepare fish and vegetables. Hmm. I never done much cooking on my own, but I'd like to learn. Don't suppose you uh, you'd be my taste tester, would you? Um, of course. Sure. I'm guessing this is a area for beds. What's behind this door? That's the bath. You're welcome when you're welcome to it whenever you'd like. Just ask and I'll heat it up for you. Also, please feel free to use the living room and futon for or if you need a rest. Cool. Well, I appreciate it. I'll be sure to take you up on that next time I'm worn out. Uh now we have to go on to it. Er here. Oh, this is storage area, isn't it? What's this? Oh, that's our handy dandy trade ledger. Trade ledger? This is some kind of trading going on? Well, my parents had a business when uh, where they sold vegetables, fish, and sometimes food they cook. They left this book behind, and I always thought I'd sort of take over the business. But it's just been so difficult for me to find all the time, especially since I'm all by myself. Well, with my with me pitching in, maybe we could just keep the business running together. How's that sound? That would be wonderful. You could take orders from our clients, and I'd prepare them. I could go out and deliver them. Cool. All right. So if you sell vegetables and food this way, I can make good. I can make good money. That should help with the debt. Guess that's everything. There's a lot to take in, but this place seems great. You think so? That's a relief. I'm glad that you like it. Mm. Thanks for the tour. Unfortunately, that looks like... Or that took a lot of time. I should really get back to Kyo for now. No, we we fucking doing some shit. Ooh, guess who has a lot of virtue? Cooking success rates. Godly. Doghouse! Deluxe dog- Oh, I don't have enough. So that should have added stuff. There's my doghouse. There you go, Measy. There's your new home. You better fucking appreciate what I do for you. So what's the kitchen look like now? I've killed a- or I killed a good amount of time. I should have packed a kill for now. Oh shit, I should have grabbed some manure. Okay. Music can complain. Imagine Oki does. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bit to get some more virtue and I'll make that thing as spacious as possible. Right. Time to get going. Saito san. Ikerashaimase. Oh, my heart. Be still. Uh, Haruka. It's just like how she was in two and three. Katayna. Haruka no ore no taito da. 
これから一緒に過ごすんだもっと気さくに接してくれて構わないあはいわ,わかりました斎藤さんうんどうするかひとまずその斎藤さんという呼び方を変えてみるか I mean, she's using the honorific to imply you're superior in a superior position, which technically you are. So we can have her call her what way, you can have her call her whatever we want. Sacha. Sacha. Nante Toda. Sacha. ちょっと気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎるような友達気分すぎ
This lets us craft the uh, third tier of items. That's really nice. I was wondering where to buy those because I had a shit ton of money but nowhere to find them. I've also learned from someone who has played this game yet. I have not even unlocked about half the things you can do in this game yet. So that's concerning. I'm apparently missing two really big things, one involving virtue, so it's going to be interesting when I get that. Let's spin this car's wheel. Let's get tons of shit. Yeah, how are you doing, Mizi? How are you enjoying your birthday? For being such a good Mizi, you get extra ear wiggles. Pull on your gotcha. You deserve it. Get You'll get better luck than what I'm having. You were also asking me earlier if I could recommend it. <gasps> Gold! Oh my word! I can't believe what I'm seeing! You've won the grand prize! Congratulations! <gasps> no, that's really good! All that for a worn sword? Listen, they make the three best swords in the game, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna do one roll for Morgan. Okay. Here's your ear wiggles. I really wish there was a way to do this faster. I guess I'll end it for now and do the rest of these off stream. I was hoping that I would get something where it's just like, oh, you've done all of these now. Uh, now you've completed your tag on the diligence record, but I guess it's not going to. We did at least get to see every prize. So it's Nigiri Meshi, the Golden Hammers, Beautiful Pelts, and a Worn Sword. That's not bad. Does it say all on this prize list? <gasps> There's more! First prize is European, European fabric. So there is one more to get. I need a red ball. Let's see if we can get that. Just one four star? Damn. I mean, at least you got a gold. Oh, there it is. We got all the prizes. European fabric. Okay, we got a reprise. Do they reset? Yes. Enlightened Manju, Ultra All Purpose Medicine, and Deluxe All Purpose Medicine, Spirit Sake, and a Yokan. <clears throat> Ten tickets now. Oh, the. Okay, so there's the rare prize list and then the lucky rare prize list okay this will get us through our tickets oh hey ultra all-purpose medicine so that's probably a stamina in deluxe <gasps> gold prize enlightened manju or enlightenment manju if I recall, there's items in this game that just give you XP. I think that's this. And this gives us Yokan. Which is a decent healing item. Worth it for free. Not super valuable, though. Yeah. If I'm correct... Also, look how big my inventory is now. I got all the upgrades. I ain't gonna die anytime soon. Oh, greatly increases virtue. How much? 2,500? Not bad. I also have new gear to put on, including these new stuffs. Okay. 
That's really useful. The Warren Sword is definitely something good. And I got a training orb. Wild Dance. Because there was help. Cool. Alrighty. Let's progress story a bit. It's been a hot minute since I've progressed story. There's a side quest I can finish, isn't there? Yeah, side quests have been active. I took probably the best and worst time to do my little grinding. Side quests were thankfully turned off. However, I wasn't able to come over here or do a couple mini games, including like karaoke, which I would have actually liked doing off stream. Or the wood chopping one, which would have also been really useful to do. Yeah, I can finish this. Okay. Oh good, you're here. Boy, I can't tell you just how much you've made me feel or how much better you've made me feel listening to me or listening to me like you have. But this will be the last time you have to hear me out. Kind of sad in a way. So, are you ready for it? The last story I've got. I'll tell you now. It's a doozy. Let's hear it. But this is the last time, all right? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. But that just means I'm gonna—I'm not gonna hold back anymore. Long story epilogue. <laughs> I know this probably won't do any good, but please try to keep it short. Ah, but it's our final chat. We have to make it one to remember. Thanks again, by the way. Well, without any further ado, listen to this. There's actually a reason I got... There's actually a reason I agreed that this would be the last time I had to hear you out. Or <laughs> you had to hear me out. Uh, now, I want you to be honest with me here. You find listening to me tiresome too, don't you? Yes. Now, don't spare my feel... Now, don't spare my... Wait! You didn't spare my feelings at all! Oh, come on! You could have at least think a little... Think about being a little considerate. Well, it's no matter now. Truth is, I'm in love. You are? <sighs> it may surprise someone at your age, but I could fall for someone... Or that I could fall for someone. But I'm still quite young at heart. Believe you and me. Or believe you me. You might actually remember from the first time we met, I mentioned Kotaro-chan? An old friend of mine I had reunited with. Aww. Well, I found myself thinking about him more and more since then. But I also thought men aren't interesting interested in overly talkative women that's what made me decide i have to change i've actually met with him a few times already but i'm always the one talking and i'm not exaggerating there have been times where i realized or dated that i had never heard him speak once that's pretty bad <laughs> it's time to stop being too chatty for people to handle i need to change for katara chan so that's why this will be our last conversation now, I know what you're thinking. There's no way you can do that. Well, I'll show you. I've come up with some guaranteed solutions. I've been carrying around umeboshi so I can pop one in my mouth whenever I'm feeling chappy or chatty. Sour plums ought to pucker my mouth shut. Oh, I can tell what you're thinking by the look on your face. Well, you can just keep it to yourself, mister, because the plum works. Not only that, I know it's just a quick fix, but I gotta do more. I've gotta change as a person. I've always found a great way uh, to start that journey. Don't tell anyone, but I've been sneaking out uh, real late at night to my neighbor's field, where I can talk as much as I want to a scarecrow. <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I almost start seeing your stern face staring back at me while I talk to it. It actually makes it easier for me. I've been doing it for... I've been doing it in the hopes I'd get it all out of my system at the end of the night, so I won't feel the need to be chatting the next day. But when I really think about it, I realize I haven't changed much at all. I'm just finding workarounds for the real problem. I still want to talk all the time, so I've done... <laughs> I've done... Yeah, so all I've done is make myself look crazier. I really wonder, can I actually get over this? And here I am, still running my mouth about running my mouth. Kotaro-chan could never put up with someone like me. I'm a disgrace. But I just love him so much. 
I'm going crazy trying to change. Or trying to ch <laughs> yeah, trying to change. Like this pickled daikon dish I'm working on. Oh, that's his favorite food. Uh, and I also know he likes fishing, so I thought I'd learn how I even caught a... Or I thought I'd even learn how. I even caught a tuna, and it was my first time out. Isn't that something? But still, I can't keep... I ha bleh, I can't keep... Bleh, bleh. I, I can't talk as much as her. <laughs> wow, it's turning night already. That was from the Haruka thing. But I still can't help but drive people away with all my talking. Sakiko-san. Huh? Kotaro-chan? Uh, what are you doing here? I just overheard your conversation with this man. I had no idea you were trying so hard to change. It means a lot to me. Oh. Oh, my. You really heard everything? I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> but, Sakiko-san, you don't have to change at all. I like how animated and lively you get when you're chatty. And I love the sound of your voice. Oh. Kotaro-chan. Huh. Looks like I've been fussing over nothing. You've been so kind, but I think it's time for me to move on to another conversation partner. Oh, good. I mean, it's good that you two found each other. You seem like a perfect match. We are, aren't we? Well, thanks again, handsome. See you around. Oh, wait. Please don't go yet. What is it? I still need to quiz you on whether you are listening. Are, are you serious? Of course. Okay, first question. Do you remember what I've been sneaking out uh, to talk to with every night? A scarecrow. A scarecrow, right? Correct. Good job. I'm, and I'm worried I might have been too tricky with that one. I suppose I won't need it now that Kotaro Chan's overheard me. But that scarecrow made for a halfway decent listener. But, uh, don't repeat that. Because word started getting around that the neighborhood that there's a lady out talking to a scary girl all night. Okay, next question. This one will be tougher. Do you remember Kotaro-chan's favorite food? Pickled daikon. Pretty sure it was pickled daikon. Yes, that's right. His favorite food is pickled daikon. And I must say, I think I've got the recipe pretty much nailed at this point. Really? You're amazing, Sakiko-chan. Sakiko-san. Oh, stop! You're embarrassing me! <laughs> oh, sorry. Forgot you were there. Alright, last question. What? Or what did I catch when I tried fishing? Tuna. A man! You caught a tuna. That's right! A tuna! Pretty good for a first timer, wouldn't you say? Although I suppose in the end you could say I caught a big fish in more ways than one. Haha! <laughs> oh! That's too good. Well, that should take care of the quiz. I think you... I think I know how well you listened to me. She did amazingly. A perfect score on the quiz. I suppose it's kind of surprising since we've reached out... Or we've reached out... Uh, yeah. Since we've reached our last little chat. Thank you so much for listening so well. Sure. Would you please accept this? For all you've done. Golden medicine case. Yo, let's go, ma'am. Thank you, actually. Well, after all the stories I've shared with you, it's time for me to move on. Now that I have Kotaro Chan as my attentive audience, we'll happily live together for a long time. But if you ever feel like chatting with someone, feel free to drop by my place. Now that we've got, now that we're such good friends, I won't, I won't feel so lonely. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I knew you would say that. You didn't change at all. Even to the very end. Well, I look forward to speaking to you again anyway. Goodbye. Yeah, but <laughs> please. Finally, the end of those never ending stories. Actually, it's a little bittersweet now that I think about it. <laughs> That's. It's over. It's done. You know, shockingly, I'm kind of with Ryoma on it. It at least wrapped up really nicely and kind of was a bit heartwarming in its own stupid way or stupefyingly idiotic way. 
It's like, man, that actually... Cat. Mm -hmm. Meow, meow. It seems like a dangerous place for a cat. Oh, well. She probably knows what she's doing. Meow. <gasps> Kitty! Damn it! Hold on! I'll get you! A filthy cat. You're really clumsy for a cat, aren't you? Shake. She's not just soaked, she's all dirty now, too. There's a bathhouse nearby. Maybe we should go wash. Maybe we should both go and wash off. Alright, come with me. That story was kind of fun, though. Yeah, I think it had a pretty good twist on it. Now, just hold still. Don't struggle. I'm gonna clean you off. Ow! Blue, if you're naked. There. That looks much better. <laughs> Calm down now. Back here again? If it's your favorite spot, then it's your favorite spot. I guess. Just be careful. Meow. You have formed a bond with the filthy cat. You can deepen your bond by continuing to interact with her and fulfilling the bond gauge. You can also check the status of your gauge and the diligence record. <laughs> Hi. Don't fall in again. I made friends with a cat. What's next? A filthy Mizzy? Mizzy? I mean, I got a doghouse. At least I could put some shelter over your head. Although, to be fair, take a bath. Lux Passion Pill. Easy, always dirty, though. True. So, that's the fishing. あの、お帰りやす。3番隊隊長さん。意外と早いお帰りですな。ええ。今日は顔見せ程度だ。ああ。それにしても、ほんまに入隊してしまうなんてな。それも大変。Enlisted <laughs> 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 now we just have to resign the next day and we'll fulfill our prophecy as Kazuma Ki Sakamoto Ryoma. Oh, wait, sorry, Persona 5 fans. Sakamoto. Ah. Taylor was in the Simpson Gumi? Yeah. He tried to defect. ほんなら竹直しといてあげる作会。貸して。悪いな。気にせんといて。お題はちゃんといただきます作会。お料ちゃん。はい。何ですか、おかみさん。この羽織、はじめさんが明日来てくから、すそ直しといてあげて。お涼ちゃん嫌だす嫌ってお涼ちゃんなんで私が人切りの袖なんか直さなあかんの人切りってはじめさんやないのそんなん関係ないはじめさんも結局ただの人切りやお涼 that's probably her just blowing off some steam. Oh, yeah, got killed by Mina instead. Hijikata. We have to start calling them by like their Asian names, which is going to be a little hard. 
The easiest one is Haruka because it's the same. How tense are we? Why do we already know their real name? Why learn another? <laughs> to be fair, I think I agree with someone who made a quick brief about this game. It's like watching the characters of Yakuza be actors in a play. Like, it seems sort of like a really in-depth movie, doesn't it? I wonder if we'll see like any of the older bosses like Shimano. Shimano would actually be kind of cool. I wonder if Odio was supposed to be uh, Kaoru? Her face is pretty resembling. Isn't that... What do I do now? How do I end up back here? That's the courier I gave directions to. Is he actually lost again? Ugh, I can't believe I'm lost again. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you're that kind samurai from before. Were you able to find Fushimi Ichi Ichiban guy? No. No matter how far I walk, I go in circles and end up back here. How is that possible? It's literally right around the corner. Truth is, I've always been absolutely hopeless with directions. Hmm. Why did you become a courier then? Until now, I had always worked out, works with my father. He helped me out. But the other day, he collapsed. So now you're on your own. Yes, and to keep him from worrying while he recovers, I need to prove that I can do this myself. It's too embarrassing having to rely on him all the time. <laughs> hmm. I can understand that. Sounds like you might be or sounds like it might be a good chance for you to stand out and stand on your own two feet. Exactly. I'm sorry, but could you tell me once more or one more time? The way to Fushimi Ichiban guy? Yeah. First, head straight from here to the Teradea. Once you've passed that, uh, look to your right for a large shopping district. Yeah. Sounds simple enough. I think I can do that this time. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> A courier who's terrible with directions. It's good that he's not giving up, I suppose. My hope he will, alright. He'll probably be back here. Uh, it's also been a while since we've done combat. Komaki, can I do some training? Aha! Welcome back! Care to learn something? Mm. Teach me. Please, teach me. Excellent! Let's begin. I am now prepared to bequeath you the Komaki Tiger Drop! As you might suspect from its name, it is the Komaki style's most powerful technique, capable of felling a tiger in one blow. However, the timing of the attack makes it what you might call a double-edged sword. You must observe your opponent carefully and unleash the tiger drop in a blink of an eye as they strike. I have told my students to give you the time to react so that may, so that you may grasp the basic. It will only be more difficult in real combat. Now, are you ready? Begin! Let's go! How is the timing on this? So it's probably as he's... That's a fast move! What the fuck? I hit it as soon as the sword came down. What? Oh, the timing is very strict. Oh my god, no! It's right before the swing. Prodigious! That will do. If you attempt to utilize the tiger drop recklessly, wiser opponents will take advantage of you. You must choose your opponents carefully and strike with precision. 
that will be all for now. Return here and when you feel ready. We still have one more thing to go. But yeah, it's right before they do the swing. We have four more training with them, apparently. But yeah, I pumped a bunch of points into Brawler, knowing that this might be soon. I'm getting close. I really should be raising the, the Brawler tree. Okie dokie, though. I saw that. Ticket. Nice. How far? How fucking far did you go? Oreo! <laughs> also, her name is Oreo, but Oreo sounds funnier. That is why I said Oreo. Into water. Get that cookie down now, Flu. No! Yay! Nice! <laughs> Got a nice shot of his team. <laughs> It is your birthday. Once again, everybody, give a good happy birthday to Mizu. Okay, I'm gonna go take the taxi over here. I am at the age of 34. <laughs> Mizu, that's a bad thing. God, you're reminding me, in like two months, I'm going to be fucking like 29. Uh, meow. Hmm. You're covered in mud again. Don't tell me. How clumsy can a cat be? Fine. I should take her to the bathhouse again. Let's clean you up. Well, come on, then. You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? Hey there, that's better. Don't fall in again. Yeah, we're gonna spill a little. Sparkle, sparkle. It's by the cat house. It's also by the deluxe. Ultra deluxe dog house! Well, now we have to. Chicken coop. That's a bit extra. <laughs> yes, it is Mini Kamurocho Hills. Ooh, that requires... Oh my god, it's like this whole thing. Ain't no fucking way. It's like this whole thing of like, give or take, that's... 
actually really cool. There we go. Let's do it like that. It's like this whole little thing where you can set it up. That's actually kind of awesome. Unreal is not that bad. It's not Unreal, it's just... <laughs> Do you like to cook? Yes. Let's try. Well, we got quite a lot to do. Alright, let's try this one. I always look forward to trying your cooking, Uncle Hajime. No fucking way. Did they fucking put Cookie Mama in this game? Oh my god, it is literally Cookie Mama. So, what do you mean? This is great, Uncle Hajime. Keep it coming. Premium Katebeshi. You had to blow harder than the <laughs> you fuck. Oh, Hanko Hajime. You split the cutting board. What? Yeah. Not much we can do. I'll just change it over to a new one. Sorry, I guess I put a little too much into that. <laughs> Never thought I'd meet someone who can cut through a cutting board. Cracked cutting board. That's how you obtain this? <laughs> I saw that in the materials list. I'm like, what the fuck is this doing here? Okay. Let's see what this does. The orders we have right now are... Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, I need something for scrap paper. Fashion pills. Can I not pull these from my... I can't pull... I have to hold them. That sucks. Okay. Yep. It is, uh... If you remember from Fist of the North Star, when we played that, it's that mini game with, uh... The girl. I forget her name. The dude's name was Bat. What was the girl's name? What was the girl's name? What was the girl's name? It wasn't Haruka. It wasn't Hikari. Little or adult. The little girl. Like, in Fist of the North Star, like, the actual one. Uh. What you, uh. Like, Ken has two, like, kid companions for a while. Oh, hold on. But yeah, he has two little kid companions for, like, the first season before he, like, drops them off at a much safer village. And she was the girl who, uh, was trying to raise money so that they could, or she could give money to her colony so that they could, like, get better trades. And that's why she came to Eden. Bat was just there because he fucking fucked up. Uh, okay. I pot. Nope, don't stop. 
Wait, no, I gotta check my cat friend. Did you get dirty again, kitty? I have a cat bed you can stay at. It's dirty again! Meow. Hmm? You're coming in mud again! Don't tell me. How clumsy can the cat be? Fine. Should I take her to the bathhouse again? Let's get you cleaned up. Mom, come on then. You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? There, there, that's better. Maybe the cat keeps jumping into the mud because it enjoys her company. Don't fall in again. We've almost maxed it out. Okay, let's get a taxi up to Rocky. Yeah, I forgot the girl's name, but there was a trading mini game that she could do. Just adopt it. Oh, you have to max out its friendship. Once we do that, it's free cat. You see, what the government doesn't want you to know is that the cats on the street are free. You can just take them. <laughs> I love that fucking meme where it's just like the geese in the park are free. You can just take one home with you. <laughs> oh no, it's ducks, Bloop. Right, right, yeah, it's ducks. <laughs> just take them with you. I have like a hundred ducks. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, she does look insanely close to Kaoru. <laughs> Man, I guess they didn't fucking just retcon the character out of existence. Audio. Audio. Come on. Chichiyoya なんで新選組に入ったお金偉くなりたいそれともいや、どれでもない。それやったらなんで the man who killed my father. Yeah, because we were trying to get close to Tenen Rishi style. Or Tenenrishi style. の罪もない人を切るっていうの。<laughs> what better way to make everything better than to change them from the inside? Bro, I am inside your walls. Pay rent. <laughs> the walls are mine. You should also need to pay rent. Hajime-san? 
Let's go home. Why is it's the owner's walls? No, no, no. I'm in Canada. So until I either void our contract or uh, something goes awry to the point that the person needs to step in, I have complete and total privacy in my own space. It is mine. I don't live in a fucking ass backwards place like uh, America, where the landlord still gets free reign of your house, basically. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You there, kind samurai. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You mean me? Yes. I'm sorry to be a bother, but you haven't, uh, you haven't seen a sight of a purse around here, have you? Mm -hmm. You lost your purse? Indeed. It's rather small, bright green. Ring any bells? Mm hmm. Sorry, no. I imagine as much. I suppose we'll have to do with our or without our side dishes for the week. That was all the money you had on you? Unfortunately. Darn it. I've always been so careless. I nearly reached the green grocer when I realized I didn't have it with me. The family will uh the family will be ever so let down when they learn the news. Did you lose a lot? Well, somewhat enough for a week's worth of side dishes i'd say but what's especially troubling is my husband won't be getting paid for his current work for quite some time not sure how long it'll be that does sound rough i sure wouldn't want to go that long without a solid side myself i don't know or i don't know it and it's not gonna do our figures any favor eating nothing but meat and rice if only someone could spare any <clears throat> But who just hands out vegetables in day, in this day and age? I simply don't know what to do. She's definitely in a tight spot. And I do grow vegetables back at home. So long as you're not looking for a whole field's worth of food, I can spare you some. What? Is that so? Uh. Yeah, if you don't mind taking a su uh, the surplus I grow. Oh, I would appreciate any vegetables at all. Thank you very much. Sorry to be such a bother. Oh, sir, did you happen to bring any vegetables you could spare? Yeah, I've got something for you. Daikon. Will this do? My, this looks fantastic. I'm already imagining all the dishes I can make with this. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I'm going to go whip something up real fantastic with this. In the meantime, though, I have this for you. Vitality pill. I do look forward to seeing you again and seeing what you have in store for me. Ho, ho, ho. Also, we do have another thing that we can do. If you remember back when we uh, saw the Seta stand-in die, which by the way, I have this? No. This. I can look at anything I need. So the Seta stand-in was Yaminami. <laughs> Yaminami. Yeah, here's our whole group of guys. Hijikata, Ido, Okida, Nagakura, Matsubara, Inoue, Tani, Takeda, Toto, Suzuki, and Harada. It's a lot of people. I am a saber face. Yeah, if you remember back when we fought the stand-in for Seta, we got this sword. So you don't get lost with the characters. Yeah, that's been in every game. I haven't needed to use it because they've all been just normal faces I've seen. Now that they're all different names, it would be nice to at least have something like this. They're in every game, though. Welcome. Have you a rare sword for me? Aha! A beautiful blade, indeed. The sight of it alone caresses my soul. So, is this worth another lesson? Most certainly. Let us begin. Today, we'll be sharing, or we shall focus on the pursuit of beauty while engaging multiple opponents. Okay. What should I do? 
keep up the attack the more time you the more time your adversaries spend on their back feet the fewer chances they'll have to strike you in I, a nice ceaseless assault can be a thing of beauty indeed so like they say offense is the best defense most surely and i will teach you your uh, technique to make or to properly manifest this greed you'll be battling five of my students this time please prepare yourself all right the pleasure is ours sir hmm what style should i go with wild dancer now how about them my nice gold gun So this is Paris again. Oh right, the parry timing is like super strict on this one on this one stance. I didn't get godly. Beautiful. Your technique is inspired. Splendid skill, vain tengu. I think I'm beginning to understand what you're trying to tell me. Splendid work. Keep at it. Let's also train your other style. This will focus on the simple principles, so no need to bring me another rarity. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh. I did also get a wild dancer orb. Which will let me snag one of these. So I can put this into my brawler. We're getting close to the Komaki Tiger drop. <laughs> yeah, now we can take off the sword. I think, though, I don't have the rarity next I need. Because I think the next rarity I need is a purple. You seem ready for another lesson, shall we? Once more, we'll be, we will pursue beauty while engaging multiple opponents. This time, employ your other sword style. Recall the importance of keeping up your attack and denying your opponents opportunities to strike. As before, you shall battle five of my students. All right. The pleasure is ours, sir. Now, how about them? L1 and triangle to deflect. Oh, hold on. No. Yes. I have a Komaki parry now. The problem, it's not supposed to do a ton. Its main gimmick is that it will provide me an opportunity to stagger someone. Which, in the case of specifically the sword tile, which would probably mean then immediately going for a lunge to knock them. <laughs> Beautiful, your technique is inspired. Splendid Strike Fair Weather has been unlocked. <clears throat> I think I'm beginning to understand what you're trying to tell me. Splendid work, keep at it. It is now time, I believe, to put our lessons into practice. Speak to me when you're ready for another bout. Hmm. Alright. Well then, 
Let's say you choose the style you wish to employ in this coming match. I shall have you counter or contend against five of my students, and if I find your technique to be at a level of, ex of an expert, you pass. Obtain the rank of sharp. Wild dancer. I should raise my right. Training, it's fun. Are you enjoying training? So am I. <laughs> Godly. Magnificent. You are a masterwork of art given life upon the battlefield. Yeah, I think I felt something there. <laughs> I'm overjoyed to hear. We must continue next time. Please bring me a truly uncommon sword if you can. I'm equipped with a great grade sword. Ah, forgive me. There's something I must attend to now. Please, return later for our next lesson. Sure. So he's not going to be available. That's a serious apology, but it's not the best time. Okay, so he's going to be busy for a bit, but we do not actually have that grade. Don't you think so? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Master Kinryu, I mean, who even is he, really? He has this amazing dojo, and he doesn't even accept payment for lessons. Mm -hmm. Plus, the way he speaks is so, I don't know, fancy? Huh. So you haven't heard. Well, I'm sure you'll find out eventually. Just remember, no one else there is half as good as us. That's true. But have you seen what he's like in... Hino... Uh, what he's like to... Hinosu... Hinosuke-san? He's supposed to be our number one student. Master's been hard on him, sure. But... Hinosu... Hinosu... Hinosuke... Uh... Scott, Hinosuke has got to live up uh, gotta live up to it and lately he's been stagnated you there I don't think I've spied don't think I've not spied your nattering taverns are homes to gossip not dojos yes master my apologies S sorry master we'll get right back to train we'll get right back to training right away I see you over there. Oh, he's gone. That's a really odd name. Because it's Hien no Suke. So it'd be Hien no Suke. Hien no Suke. <laughs> ah! Hello, man. You were talking to a cat. Oh, great. A lucky cat. Oh, great. A lucky cat. Please accept this gift and grant me good fortune. I offer you a thousand mon. Yay. I beg of you. Mind if I... Mind if I ask what's going on? Huh? Oh! You crept up on me there. Mm. Sorry. It just looked like you gave a cat your money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? This is no ordinary feline. This is the great lucky cat. No. The what? Hi. It bestows lucky blessings on anyone who offers... Who leaves an offering? Turn. Hmm. Did he just turn around? Shh. Look. Spin. Meow. Oh. I. I thought I'd lost this forever. <laughs> this dear old charm of mine. <laughs> you see, the great lucky cat has shed the, its benevolence upon me. So, <laughs> like so much lucky fur. I'm not sure about this. What are you talking about? You saw what just happened? Hmm. Well, it's no matter to me whether or not you believe this cat. My humblest gratitude once again, great lucky cat. I'll come again. Now offer the cat its tribute. Throws someone into the river. I think I got the wrong one. The lucky cat. 
Is Canada supposed to bring you good luck if you offer him money? I gotta give him a thousand mon. Here, a thousand mon. Great lucky cat, huh? Hmm? Huh. He actually brought me something. A white bait. Hmm. Maybe you think this is lucky. You want it, huh? Well, it seems happy at least. <laughs> I didn't get jack shit. I just gave it back to him. <laughs> that was funny. Hello? Um, uh. You're Saito-san, right? That's right. I'm Akira. I'm, a, I'm the priestess at the shrine. I want to thank you for always looking out for a priest. Oh, it's no trouble. You know, he told me stuff about you. That you're in the Shinsengumi and taking up someone's debt or something. Pretty impressive. It's not that impressive if you know the whole story. Well, um, I'd love to hear the story. Or just talk some more. If you have time, I'm sure you probably don't, of course. Sure. I look forward to talking to you, Priestess. It's Akira. Call me Akira. All right. Nice to meet you, Akira. Or, I say Akira. Fuck, Akari. It's so used to Akira. Fuck. Here's me handing in my weeb license. Akari. Bloof. <laughs> yes. Koshi Bento. Response. Hey there, Saito. Come to talk. Okay. Yes, drinkable. What did I do this time? Hi. Hello. Hello, great lucky cat. This cat's supposed to bring you good luck, but right now he's just catnapping. Okay. Bye, buddy. It was a nice picture, honey. <laughs> it was a very nice picture. Thank you, Oni. Oh, shit. Hello, ma'am. Oh, sir. Did you happen to bring any vegetables you can spare? What should I hand over? Will this do? My. Passion pill. No. It's good. It's very good. Hmm. Where the hell is Mibu? Now I'm curious. Is Mibu the house? Oh! Mibu's the headquarters. Erp. I am not the smartest. Is the cat dirty again? Motherfucker. How? How many times are we going to have to do this? I can't just leave her like that, though. Can I? 
derp, boop, derp, 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 derp. Oh. Come on, then. <laughs> How many times must I clean you, old cat? <laughs> At least this part's getting easier. You're used to it by now, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll get you gonna clean. Can you really not find some place else to nap? Someplace drier, maybe? Don't fall in again. <laughs> Just talks to a cat. Don't fall in. A bar, huh? What you got? Oh. Right. Ooh, inventory full. I wonder where I find my pupper. Oh wait, this is proto. Oh wait, no proto shop I can buy. Egg. plays with cocks and cleans the pussy van. <laughs> Warm. I'm also just remembering, like, I'm seeing Worm and I'm reminded of that new Pokemon from Scarlet Violet that's literally just called Orthworm. It's such a silly name, I love it. I do also need to be a brawler. But I also have a weapon as brawler now. So now I can carry my own special weapons. get it out of the fun or get to have fun what about what about what about me uh don't kill me what makes you think i'd do that oh um i'm sorry what was that all about what about me stuff just now huh you were talking to yourself complaining about something it sounded like Oh, um, no worries if you don't want to talk about it. Sorry to bother you. It's, uh, I want to, I want to play with the others too. The junk boy. And my parents are really strict and stuff. I never get toys and all... Uh, I never get the toys all the other kids get. No pinwheels, no bubble makers, not even spinning tops. If you want to make it in this town, it's really important to have the same toys as everyone else. But my mom and dad just don't understand. It's so dumb. I see. I guess kids have it pretty rough. We do! Like, even today, everyone was playing with their spinning tops, and I was the only kid who didn't have one. So that's why you were sulking by yourself. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know much about being a kid these days, but having the same toys everyone else is really that important? Of course it is! Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you don't have a spinning top, you can't exactly play along. I don't know if that's true. Huh? Of course it is! Well, even if you don't have the spinning tops, I'm sure you can still enjoy spending time with your friends. You can, or you can be a judge or cheer them on or something. Hmm. And even then, Maybe you could borrow one from them? 
Have you tried that? No. I don't have anything for them to borrow in return. There's an inherent lack of equivalent exchange. What kind of friendship is that? That's some pretty big words for you're using. If I had something to offer first, I could probably borrow, borrow their toys. Hey, I know, mister. You know, I've got a name. Mister, is there anything you have on right now that you don't want? Something I don't want? You'd really be okay with anything. Yeah, whatever you got. Maybe you didn't know, mister, but us kids can turn just about anything into a toy. Huh. <laughs> All right, then. So, please, I'll take anything you don't want. Seriously, anything. What do I have that I can offer him? Ah, yes. Allow me to give the kid the ability of bleach. <laughs> uh... Hammers. I need those. Gun. <laughs> I don't think I can hand him that. Hmm. A dead branch, maybe. Sacred wood. I could give him the horse tail. Give him a piece of haunts. Start him young. He'll be in gotcha soon enough. <laughs> the cutting board I snapped. A picture of a ghost! I also love that I can just literally give the kid gunpowder and lead. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't even notice I could hand him blood-stained cloths. The firework would be funny. Um... Uh, uh, you know what? Take, take the wood, kid. How's this? Tear of the dragon? No, that's too valuable. Oh, what's this? Not good? Okay, how about... No, this is awesome! But what the heck is it? <laughs> Seems like that worked. Not sure why, though. Thanks, mister. I'm gonna go show this off to the others. Oh, all right. We'll talk more later, okay? Bye. I handed the kid a piece of wood. I mean, make your own spinning top, I guess. <laughs> I do actually have a toy gun that I bought. Uh, let me clean this part up. I feel like there's more I could have given him. <laughs> Scrap paper. That would have been funny. I'll have an iron plate for him later. I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't just sold those. Yeah, not really much I can give him. I'll toss him the iron plate next time I see him, though. Might as well get some use out of this thing. Ah, uh, yes, child, I shall teach you. God damn it. mine fuck off oh, i'm sorry dog what's that over there there's mukuroga why are the children following me hmm what should i do that woman is she planning to take the ferry what to do to go or not to go excuse me miss if you're thinking of going on Going to Mukuro Guy? Don't. You know how dangerous that part of the city is? Mm -hmm. I do, but I'm just so tempted. Mind if I ask why? Mm. Well, there's something being sold there. A kind of scented water called perfume. Okay. Perfume? Never heard of it. It's the talk of town among women among us women lately, apparently. Applying it to yourself makes men swoon over you. So it's some sort of love potion? That's what they say. I've never been very popular with the men, you see. I thought this might finally help. But this perfume... 
The only person who sells it is the black market dealer in Mukuro guy. I see. That's why he wanted to go. Of course I know it's risky, but the but for a price like that, I thought I could muster the courage. Mukuro guy is no joke, especially for a woman alone. She really seems like she might go. Maybe I should buy this perfu perfume for her instead. <laughs> no time. Good luck, miss. <laughs> Why don't you let me go to Mukuro Guy for you? To be honest, I'm curious about the love potion you speak of. Huh? Did you really go that far? Uh. Sure. Leave it to me. <laughs> Thank you. I only know the merchant is somewhere in the district. I'm sorry I can't be more specific. Here, let me give you the money I have saved up. Three year row. Whoa. That should cover it. Feel free to keep whatever's left. Thank you. Not at all. Thank you, sir. Also, I saw this pot in the cutscene. Metal sheet. Heading to Mukuro guy. 500 molten. Oh, yes. All the popping. Bum, bum, bum. This is Major. Ah, yes. I'm already about to get jumped. It does kind of suck that the special weapons play like the weapons in uh, regular games. Because uh, the Odachi plays like a hammer. This is where I also bought all my bullets. Uh... Doesn't look like he's the one. He is a black market dealer, but not the one I'm looking for. Oh, pot. Yoink. Worm. <gasps> Dog! Hmm? What happened to you? You're injured. <gasps> Looks like a stray. Those are some nasty wounds, though. Someone has to help him. I should offer him something that gives energy. Hold still. I'll try to patch you up. Means he dead! No! Alright, that should be a little better. How are you feeling? It's a start, but you'll need more before long. I'll come back again and check on you, okay? You did not train the Mizu. I'll come back to you. I need to deload and reload the area, though. Look at all these chickens. Ah, yes, you, Mr. Crazy. Aha! You again appear! Most auspiciously apt for another attempt? Hmm. I never got the timing for the swordman style. Let's try that. Oh, it's square.
I'm not gonna go both, so I'm like... Or... I got it! Well done! Will this do for a, a, a winsome display? Granny's right, done. Yeah, I actually got it. I'm still not super used to it. The timing is awkward. Alright. Where the dog? Live! How are you holding up? Let me take a look. Mm, you probably need a little more. All-purpose medicine. Hold still. This will help. Cannon baseball. <gasps> Alright, that should do a little better. Only a bit more until you're fully healed. I'll come back soon. They're covered in dirt! Yay, meows. <laughs> Okay. Um, I still need to find that black market dealer. Because she said he was in Mukuro Guy. It's not a huge area, so I don't have a lot of ground to cover. I just need to find them. Let's check upstairs. A. Hmm. There's something written here. Calling all men fearless and foolhardy. If you want to die for coin or kill men or kill for glory, make your way to the arena. An arena, huh? Maybe I should take a look when I have time. Ooh. Not what I'm fully here for. Oh. Hey there, Samurai son. Words of the wise, you should hand over your valuables and move along. Or you'll face the wrath of the Sangami. The diabolical Jozu Tengu. Jozu Tengu? Never heard of them. If you don't mind, you're in my way. Oi, oi! Not knowing about us is no excuse. You should put that thing down before you hurt yourself. The ball's on this one. Fine, then. You can learn our names while you we send you to hell. So, are we finished? Damn it! Who is this guy? Hey, don't leave me. Or don't leave me. That was strange. Now, aren't you the scrappiest samurai? Hmm? Thank you. Those jerks and Tengu Mass have been causing a lot of trouble here lately. It was nice to watch them scamper. There's an traditional game we can all play. You start by getting liquored up and sharpening your blade. You take a shot of whiskey. You grab your knife and pray you spread apart your fingers. That's what they say. <laughs> okay, that one. I wonder... I love how Kyori is playing Xenoblade 2 in Armor Core for answer. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Ah. No thanks necessary. Could I bend your ear for a bit? You might be able to help to get men like that off the streets for good. Get them off the streets? Sure. Alright. Dealing with them every time I pass through here would get old after all. Mm. Exactly. Of course, it's not just them. Lately, all of Kyo's come all of Kyo's become a stomping ground for thugs and bandits. My father, Tachibana Gen Genjuro, uh, started recruiting volunteers to a neighborhood watch of sorts. We're called the Tachibana Tachibanagumi. My name, my name is Matsu, although most people call me Omatsu, 
cuter that way, don't you think? Sure. Follow me to our home base. I'll fill you I'll fill you in on the rest. Faker. What is the meaning of life? Big fat mommy milkers. This is Tachibana Gumi HQ. This, there's some dangerous looking people in here. They may seem a bit gruff, but they have Kyo's best interest in heart. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> the Tachibana, Tachi, Tachibana Gumi rep, or receives requests from people all over the city. We run off criminals, patrol roads, protect businesses. You see, we need people strong enough for jobs like that. Take a look over here. This board is where we post the requests we have available. We even provide sketches to help identify who we're after. There are a lot of people who need help in the city, and plenty of evildoers to punish. If you can complete any of the jobs here, we'll reward you as best we can. Uh. I see. So the Tajibana Gumi is an intermediary for people who need assistance. Eh. That's right. And the more we accomplish, the safer Kyo becomes. Doesn't it sound good? I'd love for you to join. Let me see. If they're getting requests from all over the city, this could be a good source of information. Ooh. All right, I'll help out. <laughs> That's wonderful. Those men in Tengu masks are only part of the problem. Lately, it seems there's troublemakers all around the town that have been getting tougher. Some of our people have even gotten hurt. I'm hoping you'll be strong enough to turn the tide. Who were those guys, anyway? Where, or what did they call themselves? The Jozo Tengu. They're a gang of bandits led by someone named, well... Jozo. With all the violence going on between the Shinsengumi and the radicals, they've been or they've been able to prey on folks indiscriminately. They have no principles. They're only doing it to fill their pockets. I see. Someone should put a stop to them. There are more details on the board. We'll just post or we just post new requests, in fact. Okay. This was the other thing I was told about. Which is there is uh, a lot of combat-focused side content. Not mini-games per se, but this game has an arena, dungeons, and the wanted list. So that's a decent amount of content to fill out. Remember to pour it back whenever you complete a request so we can reward you. Right, got it. One request posted right now. Man and Tengamas are causing disturbance in the restaurants in U Ume Kojijo in Rakugai. I could see this. Or I could see to this. Uh, there's a guy to talk to in here as well. There's a bloody... Or there's a bloody feel out in Kyo right now. You guy, stay on your guard. Yeah. Uh, world sucks, mommy milkers best. Uh, meaning of life is mommy milkers because they make me feel good inside. I feel whole, complete, by giant mommy milkers. <laughs> hmm. That might be the merchant who sells the scented who sells the scented water. Hi. I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> Shit! So you found me, but you'll never catch me. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. I'm looking to buy something off you. The hell you are! Not if I kill you first! Sir, I just wanted to make a shop, like a shopping request. Sir, this doesn't need to get violent. Sir, this doesn't need to get violent. It's unbecoming of us. Society thinks that we'll hurt each other. It's a problem in the streets. <laughs> I 
I mean, to be fair, I did shoot him. Damn it, I'm really up Shit's Creek this time. You got me dead to rights. Calm down. I'm only here to make a purchase. You're not under arrest. Huh? You're actually buying? That's right. Oh, sorry about that. You just showed up out of nowhere with a face like an ogre and my alarm bells went off. Well, I normally don't trade with strangers, but uh, but to apologize for making you kick my ass, I'll open up shop. I see. Thanks. What can I do you for, mister? I've heard of a certain scented water that makes uh, its wearers irresistible to men. Did you carry that? Um, yeah, I've got it. That's what you want, huh? Takes all kind, I guess. It's for someone else. Yeah, all right. Whatever you say. There you go. It's called perfume. I suppose it's supposed to make it's supposed to drive men crazy somehow. How much is it? Tell you what, just put the whole thing behind us. It's yours for free. Honestly, I don't even know how well it works. You don't? I suppose it is hard to believe something that's something like this little bottle of water will make you attractive to men. You can try it out first if you're skeptical. Here, have a waft. Oh, hmm. There is an aroma to it. It's sensual. Still, it's nothing like a love potion, to be sure. I told someone I'd get it for them, though. Thanks. Hmm? Something wrong? Hey. You. What? Me? I love you. Huh? I love you! What the hell? I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll go to the ends of the earth for you, mister. Sir. Lover. Is this from the perfume? Damn, it really does work. Hey, why don't we go somewhere? Quiet. Just you and me? His face is flushed. I can practically hear his heart beating. <laughs> Stop thrusting. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> Never run. I'll chase <laughs> to every possible use I can. He's going berserk. I can't just find him back while he's like this. I have to get out of here. And thanks for the water. Ah, oh, screw the water. No, wait. Screw me. <laughs> oh, wait, screw no. Him. I have to do the <laughs> Oh my god, he is fast. I think I managed to shake him off. I think I might know what the problem is. If I bump into any of those guys, they'll also get hit by the uh, thing. And might end up becoming like a chaser <laughs> okay he is not following me i love you i love you <laughs> what the fuck did you get you <laughs> I'm running. I'm getting tired. Uh. No. No. Real my run. No. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay, what if shaking him off fully? Hide, 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 hide. 
I gotta find a hard spot. In the bucket! <laughs> it really did become trouble in the shoots. Okay. I need to run. I was waiting for Ryoma to stop being tired. Yeah, this far out. I should be safe here. <laughs> Let me pop out of nowhere. Literally the only fucking way he would have been able to get to there before me is if he fucking teleported. <gasps> Managed to get away. Oh, sir. How'd it go on Mukuro guy? Were you able to buy that perfume? Uh. Um, yeah. I have it here. He handed over the perfume. I can hardly believe it. Thank you. This is, the, this is the start of a whole new life where men will actually look my way. They'll do more than just look. So be careful. You might end up attracting more than what you bargained for. Huh? Um, sure. So this is what perfume is capable of. Things could be, things could go very bad if word of this travels. What a horrifying invention. That's so... That was just like... <laughs> that was so fucking weird. I was scared. <laughs> Drinkable hold me. Imagine the entire chat chased after Floof. I'd fucking run for the hills. Like not even Spider-Man chasing the shocker would catch me, my buddy. Have you been? Let me take a look. That's a lot better. Just a bit more now. Can I bring that ass? No. <laughs> All right. Hold still like usual. <laughs> You're looking much stronger than before. I'm handing this dog so many healing items. <clears throat> Should probably crack one of these open. <sighs> Much better. <laughs> Much better. My throat doesn't feel like sandpaper now. Lots of burps. You embrace the music. <laughs> no. I'll come back soon. Take care, dog. <laughs> I was wondering when someone was going to do that. Ten years in the joint made you a fucking pussy. I'm gonna stand up and stretch actually. Oh. No, it's okay. That just means me that just means Mezi has to contribute more. So this was the other thing I wanted to check out, Mukuro guy. I won't be able to use these, but I don't have my stuff set. Yes, I will see. Whoa! Welcome, welcome. What is this place? Why? This is the arena. Here, are the strongest fighters in the land gather to see whose might towers over all. Competitors are armed with only their wits and their arms. You're welcome to enter, if you dare. Their arms. Do you mean actual arms, or do they fall the... Do they allow the use of weapons? Of course! In this day and age, 
One's arms are as much a part of their body as their arms. Wait, did that make sense? I mean, yes. Swords, guns, and any other instruments of death are permissible. Naturally, we take no responsibility for our competitors' deaths. The blame of such cause lies sorely on their arms. The arena attracts many different kinds, and fights take place over or at all hours. If you've got faith in your battle prowess, I recommend you attempt the Baptism of Fire. I look forward to seeing how you fare. Or how you perish. Baptism of Fire. Oh, hey, look, it's us in the fucking Vincent Gumi coat, which we still have yet to put ourselves in. Okay, this might be very important. There's the golden sword I'm looking for. Ebisu's Ebushi. Uh -huh, that seems too good to be true. Makes money just by walking around. Okay. Okay. And they sell silver hammers here. Not as good as gold hammers, but hey, can't spend. Can't be too. You know. 100 man beatdown! I gotta find that. Also, I hope you get better soon. Oh wait, I didn't heal. Whoops. Okay. that <laughs> that's actually kind of fucked I can't counter that First, I probably should have healed before I walked in. Secondly, Wild Dancer does not do enough damage. Rip Floof. Okay, they don't leave me high and dry. Let's try one of the normal tournaments. Baptism of Fire. Okay. Five rounds I gotta do. That is a flaming fucking sword. Oh my god, it's Kameyama. Come <laughs> on. 
How the hell bells did Fallout sort? I don't know. Flaming katanas. Oh, hey! This is one of the guys here. Ow! You're bulletproof? I do not like your hairstyle. Oh no, it's Lau! Yeah, that's literally just Lau Kong Long. Gladly choose Lao. <laughs> it's final one. I've got like no health. Saito Hajime versus Sakunoi. Yeah, that golden gun was such a huge, huge boost to my attack power, by the way. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I say as I'm bleeding out. <laughs> he did bring a club to a gunfight. <laughs> Oh god, I hope I don't have to deal with someone with a rapid-firing gun. Alright, let's go check on the dog. This dog is mine. It's even white, like Measy. It's also dirty, like Measy. <laughs> You're doing great. One more treatment should be all you need. What should I give him? 
Almost there. <laughs> Great. Well, that should do it. I'll come check on you again soon. Also, that did also give us a ton of level ups. Am I forcing myself further to get Komaki Tiger Drop? You can't prove that. Even though it's true. One more level. One more level, boys and girls. Cool. Okay. Um... What's that again? Alright. Ah, river fishing. Cool. Um, I want to make sure the dog is better. Let's progress time a bit. Like, let's see what happens. Wonder what they sell here? I've already shown it. Were you paying attention, Meezy? He's the arms dealer. I bought like 300 flame rounds from him. How did it go? Did you find Fush Fushimi Ichiban guy this time? Ah, the kind samurai. Yes, thanks to you, I was able to make it. I kept a cool head and remembered your directions. It took me some time, but I found my way. Thank you. Hmm. It was no big deal. I'm glad. But is there something else? You seem frustrated. Yeah. Actually, yes. Your direction helped me take care of some of my deliveries, but there's still one that there's still quite a few left. At this rate I'm or at the rate I'm going, the damage to my family's reputation might just be irrepar irreparable. He seems to be really troubled. Hmm. I do keep running into him. It wouldn't be impossible for me to help him out a bit. Alright. Maybe I can help. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. I end up walking around the city a lot. I could make some deliveries while I'm at it. Thank you so much. Then, please, take this parcel. Could you deliver it to Kankichi-san over at Yashikimachi? Kichi and Yashimigachi. Got it. I'll handle the others I've got. We, Would you meet back here when you're done? Sure. I'll meet you here later. Okay. Thank you again. Another fucking loyalty? How many of those do we have now? Yashimigachi. Where was that again? All right. Okay. Kan Kichiyu. Hope this doesn't trigger the cutscene. Let's go! Alright, let's go check on our little feline friend. <gasps> He's not there! Hmm? Where's that clumsy cat? Rabble, rabble. Hmm? What's with the crowd? <gasps> no, kitty! It must have fallen off the dock. It's lucky to be alive, but goodness, it's dirty. Let me in. That's my cat. Honestly, I was worried about you. Unbelievable. Your clumsiness... The clumsiness will be the end of you. Are you listening to me? All right, there. You look better than ever. <laughs> you sure seem happy. Am I ever going to get to stop sitting at get you to stop sitting at that dock? 
I'm starting to doubt it. This cat really might be too clumsy to survive on her own. Listen, starting from now on, you're gonna live with me. I'll take care of you, okay? Hmm. Sounds good. Please name the filthy cat. All right, chat. We need a name for a kitty cat. We got we gotta get named for a kitty cat. Easy. <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck off. Copper, clumsy, or snowball. I thought I got to type one in. F. Fuck it, snowball. Snowball is now your pet, making a difference. Okay. <laughs> yes, the gods were very kind to me on that one. Flame. No, I don't get to call the dog me. The dog's name is Measy. You can adopt up to three dogs and three cats. <laughs> Interesting. Hold on. Okay, let's go do this delivery before we forget. And then we'll go see if we can go raise that dog. That means I need to do four more pet side quests after this. So here's where I'm supposed to be. I just gotta find the guy now. Uh, what's for sale? I haven't checked what you have. It's been a while, and now I have money. Uh, you don't really have anything. Okay. this line's for. Ten sackfuls of delectable Inari, if you will. Coming right up. Next, please. Twenty. Twenty sackfuls of Inari, of tasty Inari sushi for me. You got it. Give me two minutes. Huh. A new Inari spot? Seems to be doing well. A man in his sack. <laughs> yeah. Yashikichi Machi. Or Yashiki Machi. This is where I'm supposed to be. You? Are you Ken Are you Kenkichi san? That's me. Who are you? I'm filling for the courier. Here, delivery for you. Ah, thanks for coming all this way. Obtain five thousand mon. Thank you very much. I shall let the courier know I took care of it. We're meeting near the Tarada in Fushimi. Or Fushimi. I don't know if you guys want me to do all these Bond episodes. That'll take a while. Sorry, sir. Can't let you go ahead of the line. Okay, so I gotta come back later. <clears throat> no! Dog! Hmm? Huh? A stray? It looks sad. No, wait. He has a collar. Is he someone's pet? Hmm. Seems weak. Are you hungry, maybe? Here, eat up. What should I hand over? Here you go. Yeah, all of them are Shibas. Hmm. You're looking a little better. Good. You should go back to your honor. Take care, dog. Bond with new puppy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, 
Ah. Somebody, some girl's getting shaken down. I don't know if I get to name it, so you get to be all the dogs. Well, fine, if you all want this so bad. <laughs> what the fuck? The kick was enough. Did I need to shoot the man twice in the air? I just clay pigeon the motherfucker. <laughs> Was it really necessary? Kitty! <laughs> I mean, Ryoma! Hello, dog. Ah, yes, the dog's ability to make people disappear. Well known trait of dogs. Thank God for that sprint upgrade. What's up, boy? Ah, hello again. Were you able to make the delivery to the Konkichi son? I was. Here's the money you paid. What? No, I can't take that. Kind samurai, you earned it on your own. If you insist, so how things go for you? Well, I haven't finished just yet. I see. I tried. I really did. Hmm. Well, doing one wasn't so bad. I can help him out again. Don't worry. Give me what you have left, uh, and I'll take care of it when I can. You really make... You really make more... De You'll really make more deliveries for me? Kind Samurai, thank you so much. Yeah. Where's the next one going? North Umeko... Umekojio... Kojicho. To Yakichi-san. Uh, Yakichi in North Umekojijo. Thank you again. Uh, you can keep the fee for this one too, of course. Well then, I'll be off too. When you're finished, come back here and I'll find you another parcel. Thank you, kind samurai. I can't say the word samurai anymore without thinking of the line that Jonathan says in fucking SMT4. <laughs> I have been cursed. He also says it in such a fucking weebish way. <gasps> <laughs> Don't you feel better now? You know it! Taking care of this dog is the best kind of stress stress relief. Taking care of the dog? Hmm? Hey! What happened? Those men. Okay. That's a little better for now. If those two are hurting this dog, they'll pay. Blood must be paid. Let's see what happens if I just hit up the arena and come back here. There's so much side content. I'm not doing much story. There's so much to do. Because, like... I just unlocked a shit ton of, like, different side content to do. Here's how many side stories I've done. That is a lot that I still need to do. And if I'm doing the entirety of the arena, which I'm probably not on stream, um, that's just so much more added. And that's not even including the wanted list or the other thing. I do think I'll do the other thing. We haven't unlocked it just this moment. They are hurting this dog. Hmm. That's them. Come on, whine, you dumb mutt. Yep. Yep. 
<laughs> I made her cry loudest. Pay up. Damn it. Give me another shot. Stop it. Huh? Who the hell are you? So, you two are the ones who've been hurting this dog. Ooh, why do you care? It's just some stray. Yeah. We're being responsible cleaning up the streets. This street or this is stress relief. With taxes as high as they are, shit's gotta trickle down somehow. Man's got the right to take his anger out when he can, so why don't you piss off? Uh. You both make me sick. I don't care about your problems. Nothing gives you the right to terrorize this animal. Huh? This guy's really starting to stress me out. Why don't we try kicking his ass instead? Ha! Huh. That sounds good. Don't you dare beg for mercy when this is over. Ha! What a prick. Let's break him. <laughs> I certainly put a hole in them or two. <laughs> Shit. Next time you're feeling stressed, come find me. Uh, we'll be good. Somebody help us. It's all right. It's over now. Seems really scared. I can't just leave him like this. Hey, why don't you come with me? You can't stay at my home. You can stay at my home. No one will hurt you there. How about it? Hmm. I think that's a yes. Please name the injured dog. Champ Tofu or Happy. Yeah, champ. Champ is now your pet. We have found we have bonded with the injured dog. Okay. Who may call you? Where was that again? Oh, right above me. Right there. Okay. I think I also have a target there I need to hit up. Then we'll pro then we'll progress story. It's been three hours and I've done two cutscenes. I'm sorry. It's a Yakuza game. Side content's important. Ijinaika! Ijinaika! Huh? Ijinaika! Ijinaika! That song. Ijinaika! 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 At it again. Hmm. Oof. Are you alright, ma'am? Oh, I'll be fine. Those dancers just bumped into me. Ow! What a total lack of consideration. They can't just Ijinaika their way out of this. Boy. Hey, all of you. Huh? Ah. What do you want? You need to be careful about where you're where you're dancing. What if you knock down this old or knock down an old woman? Why are you being a wet blanket, man? We're trying to Ijinaika out here. This guy obviously has no interest in protesting. He's doing this because it's fashion. What kind of movement has this become? Hey, clear the streets if you're not gonna dance. You're either an Ijinaika or an Ijinaina. <laughs> Is that all you is that all you're here for? Dancing? Oi. To tell the truth? I was also hoping to kick the shit out of someone like you. Oh. Damn! <laughs> Hell will burn. Yeah. 
I'm the man with the golden gun. Ow! You, sir, deserve something more than a bullet. Allow me to introduce you. Allow me to introduce you to our Lord and Savior. The bitch kicking. He should not die. <laughs> You gotta be Egypt not kidding me. You done? Yeah. Here, take this and we'll go. Stabs me. <laughs> Vermilion fabric. Thanks. Sorry for everything. That was kind of you, Samurai. Thank you. Yeah. Don't mention it. This Egen Ica thing is really gonna have a hand. Perhaps. But I I understand them in a way. I've never seen times like these before. Everyone is out in their minds with worry. For themselves? For the country? But maybe with samurai like you around, there's a bit of hope for us. <laughs> you give me too much credit. She's right. With the whole nation in turmoil, it's only natural people would start acting strangely. Maybe it's an unfair for me to reject everything about each and I, huh? I mean, that is kind of an interesting way of looking at the situation. Because times have been pretty heavy for us as well, like where we are now, so... It's understandable. Oh, it's not open. Okay. Well, another side quest. Hey, what are you doing, man? Careful! What's going on over there? That's guns. Shit! We gotta get a move on. Hey, what are you thinking looking at? Damn it. We're busted. What the hell are those guys doing? Screw it! We got no choice if we've been made. This has to stay under wraps. I'm not here to arrest you or anything. This isn't my concern, just let me pass. Not happening, asshole. We're under strict orders from the boss. Boy. Now what in the Sam Hill is going on here? <laughs> boss! This guy saw our hardware, but don't worry, we're about to kill him. I screwed up. Forgive me, boss. Uh. Easy now. Everybody makes mistakes. What matters is how you handle yourselves once it happens, you fellas. Are you fellas? Now, I do, I did say keep this here operation on the down low. That means taking any misstep in stride, being discreet. Right, yeah. Of course, boss. Sorry. So mm. Reckon it ain't no difference. Either way, you boys carry the goods back to the hideout. I'll have a chat with our new friend here. Right away, boss. Leon S. Kennedy? I thought he was fucking Arakawa. <laughs> Afraid I can't have you join uh, just mosey on here without a, or from this little encounter, boy. So, what are you planning to do about it? <laughs> No need for hostilities. If I were planning to draw on you, you'd know it. Truth is, I'm a merchant, one who fancies himself able to fashion a fair deal to all parties. You want to make a deal? My crew and I got ourselves a little hun or a little hole in the wall around here. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. Hmm. A merchant who's stockpiling that many firearms? You'd be an inconvenient enemy. All right, let's talk. This is quite the hole in the wall. What's all this? Uh. Welcome to my place of business. Allow me to introduce myself. I go by Mr. Wilhelm, William Bradley. What shall I call you? I'm not sure I want to be... I want to give you my name. 
Negotiations are built upon trust, boy. Keep your lips sealed, all if you like. I assure you, I've got my ways of digging up dirty truths. Saito Hajime. Good. First name Hajime? Good. Boy. Add it to the list, would you? On it, boss. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Hajime. You know you, you know the phrase brass tacks? Here's what we got on the down or we get down up to him. What I need from you is to forget what you done saw in the street on the corner today. Now, normally I'd estimate the price of a man's silence in terms of coin. Something tells me, though, you might find this a little more persuasive. Yeah. What, a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Top of the line pace. No one else is back in a heater like that in the land of the rising. I understand. You're not trying to bribe me. You're trying to incriminate me. If you pay me, I could turn or I could still turn on you. With this in my possession, though, I would have to answer for it. Yes. You are damn sharp, Hajime. If you're that quick on the uptake, this won't take long. I wasn't gonna tell anyone in the first place. And I don't need this. I've got my own gun. The man is already armed and dangerous. You know? I think you and I might be fast friends. I don't think we'll be friends at all. Is if that's everything you have to say, I'll be going. Hmm. Have your way, then. Boss. What have you got? Oh, ho, is that right? What is it? Begging your pardon. But it seems we might have another matter to discuss before I see you on your way. What do you want now? Yes. If you're side, ho you're side of Hajime, a guest at Teradaya over in Fushimi... If rumors are to believe, you're a veritable devil with that sword. And to top it off, you're with the Shinsengumi. Uh, now, ain't that interesting as it all got out. So, while you keep me busy, your men went looking for information on me. Yeah. Standard procedure? I like to call it the merchant salutation. That said, there is something beyond even eyes and ears in my boys. You ever heard of the Urayama Company? Urayama? No, I figured as much. That's the handle of the den of thieves that, that uh, what killed a man who was like a brother to me. There's but one reason I've planted my roots in this territory. Revenge on every last one of them son of bitches. Or sons of bitches. My brother was Japanese, but he never treated me like no outsider. I love that man. And I was there the day the company came in. In cold blood, shot him down. Mr. Saito Hajime of the Shinsengumi, I reckon you cross paths with them loyalist Shishi on the regular, don't you? Please. If you ever hear whispers of uh, whispers of whispers about Uriyama Company, I need you to bring it to me. I ain't asking for free. I got money, weapons, anything you want, it's yours. Save it. I've already seen someone who look, who was like family to me murdered before my eyes. I understand how you feel. But I'm not a mercenary. I don't take payments to bu uh, to help black market dealers avenge their dead. Surely there must be some way of us to or to come to an agreement. Please, sir. On our boss's behalf, we are begging you to help him. He's a good man, really. He provides us with food and shelter and pays us generally, or generously. Knock it off, boys. I know we've got no right to ask you, but you're in the best chance. Or you're the best chance. Yes, Ito-san. All we can do is beg and bow our heads, please. Calm down, both of you. I'll see what I can do, alright? Don't expect much. I've got things going on, and I've never heard of these guys before. If that changes, I'll let you know. Hajime. Thank you. Thank you so much, Saito-san. Hey, boss, if Saito-san's getting in with us, why don't we teach him some of your techniques? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> now there is an idea! Hajime! You carry a piece, right? But how well can you use a thing? Okay. How well? I don't know. I mostly just point and shoot. No, no, no. no. I can't just have you firing off like some hillbilly with a pea shooter. Guns are wor guns are works of art. I give all my boys armaments, but I but it's the know-how that really lets them protect themselves. So, or so what? You also give them target practice? Ha yes. <laughs> ha. What's good is knowing how to shoot a bottle or a stuffed dummy. No, I like to keep things practical here.
I huh Hillbilly is an ethnicity slur? Since when? <laughs> that is what Automod is telling me right now. Hell, the message for reasoning. Hillbilly is uh, racial slang for, or racial slang or an ethnicity slur. Huh. That's new. Yeah, it's not. Now it means he's got to pay the tax. No, I like to keep things practical here. Hey, why don't we all just welcome Saito-san into the game by taking him on? Uh, not a bad idea. Load your chambers, Hajime. I'll give you some pointers as you take him on. You're going to teach me better gun techniques. Fine, I'll go along with this. Okay, if are y'all ready? Draw! Oh, that's a really useful technique. Great. Great. Starting to see how there's more to a derringer than just point and shoot. Yeah, actually. Firearms might even have as much depth to them as swordsmanship does. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's what I like to hear, Hajime. And this is the only, or this is only the beginning. Mm. I'll come back. We'll help you out however we can too. Please, just try and find information for the boss. All right. I'll let you know if I come across anything. My thanks. Feel free to come and go from here in this place as you please from now on. Uh, oh, and one other thing. A lot of goods pass through our fingers down here. My boys are fledgling traders in their own right. Might score yourself a deal. Talk to them if you're interested in a bit of bar of bit of bartering. Or if you're just in the mood to shoot a bree or shoot the breeze. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Good. See you down the road, Hajime. Students among masters. Trained with each master of combat. Cool. So who is my shop? You. Are you Saito Hajime? William told me you have goods in exchange down here. That's right. We've got a lot of useful stuff. Thing is, we only work in barter and trade. Your money is no good to us. Ask around if you're interested. Everybody here has got something different, I'm pretty sure. Here's what I can offer you. Book of Revelations Gust. I'll trade it to you for fi uh, five carved wooden bears. Good deal? Okay. I was waiting for you. I've got a provincial dojo certificate here. It's yours for ten aquamarines. I don't have aquamarines yet. Maybe later. Hmm. Right, well, I'll be here. You the guy? I've got ten beautiful pelts on me. I'll let you have them for a pearl. Should I make the trade? Alright, done de or deal's done. Now back away slowly and we'll be good. Yo! I've got a crimson bead. How about twenty water godstones? Hmm. I don't have that, do I? So I said 20 water godstones. Maybe you didn't hear me. Hey, and I see you, Sato san. If you're interested, I've got a fine horse mane. I'll trade you for pearl, of course. It's no big deal if you'd rather not. One pearl for a haunt. One pearl for a haunt. Looks like we've got a deal. Thanks for taking the time to trade. Even with pushovers like me. Yo! How are you doing today, Satasan? I've got some beast tails here. How about it? You want to trade with me? It's real good stuff. I'd love a pearl for them. Okay. I've got like 50 of these things, so take them. Hey, what's, what fun that was. Thanks for the trade, Satasan. I've still got some more if you find yourself another pearl. 
Hey there, boss said to trade with you freely. I've got a fine silk fabric myself. I was hoping for ten water gut stones. How about that? I ain't got them. Well, look who it is. I've got a fair bit of vermilion fabric, I'll have you know. Five water god stones for one vermilion fabric. Seem like a fair deal. Oh, should I make the trade? I ain't got them. Welcome back, partner. Today, I think I'll learn a thing or two about special ammunition. It's vital for any gunslinger with assault. Special ammo? Yeah, I've used it before. Mm hmm. So you said about, uh, so you said about your six gun too. I'll see for myself if you really know what you're doing. So, Take uh, these and stand at the ready for my boys. Enhanced rounds, flash rounds, thunder rounds, acid rounds, poison rounds. Uh, that there's what we call an arsenal. Get ready to put it to use. Equip the enhanced rounds first. Ammunition like that ain't been loaded. Or he'd been loaded for just some lead to, or just some lead the corpse was carrying. So he gave us every ammo type. He only gave me three? God damn. Yes. Good. That'll do. Now make sure you focus on the difference between those regular rounds. Y'all set? Draw. How do you put lightning on bullet? Magnets, apparently. So flash rounds just stagger. Thunder rounds are paralysis shots. So this is the one I was really curious about because this one says it can decrease defense. Yes, it does. So I saw these in the... Uh, Almost done. Man, Rydokus know how looking real different these days, right? Good. Good. You're a fast learner. That's the kind of know-how that can make the difference in a gunfight. Or make all the difference in a gunfight. Enhance round know-how has been unlocked. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, seems like there's a lot to consider. Master that skill and you'll be able to cook up enhance rounds at the blacksmiths. Could lead you further could lead you up to further aptitude as well. Next time I'll learn you something real fun, Hajime. Come on back when you're ready. Mm. So, Gunslinger has... Oh, that's really close. I can actually get that now and start following this tree. Oh, I have to unlock each individually. Okay, well, enhanced rounds are going to be the ones that I want the most. I should probably unequip any of the ones that I have right now. We'll go back to fire because I've got so many. Oh, no. Also, hi, Lycris. How you doing? Hmm. I've been waiting for you. Ready for your next lesson? Yeah, looking forward to it. Been a rash of an angry young folk taught in gats of their own around this town lately. Causes such... Causes such as those, the ability to dodge a return fire might just be what keeps you inside it. Your insides on the inside. Right. You ready? I think so. Square up, boys. Draw. Pretty good. My Nightmare Phoenix and Unchain Abomination came in. Nice. Unchained Abomination. That's Good. the, uh... That's the Link 4, right? Or is that the Fusion? Good. I'm sure the boys find you one hell of a dance partner, Hajime. Link 4 that explodes things. I was right, yeah. 
Texas two-step. <laughs> nice. I get it. See through their shots, of it and shoot back. Yes. That's the essence of it. Now, time to really put that to the test. Oh my fucking god. All of them? I want to see how you handle all of them coming at you at once. That's practically everyone here. You starting to sweat? Don't worry. Each one will... Each one will leave the fight if they take a single shot. Some of them are loaded, some of them aren't. Reckon you might find the ones that are packing your first targets. And the most important thing, if I see you take too many hits yourself, I blow the whistle. I want fleet feet, Hajime, not brute strength. Right. It's about avoiding fire, not taking down enemies efficiently. Well said. The trial ends in at 30 men down. Are you ready? All of you, draw! Channel your Dark Souls and roll! <laughs> They've got swords too. looks so goofy the combat is pretty stiff but it gets better as you level up so it's gotten a lot better great better than i even expected essence of three-legged mare has been unlocked this sort of training will only increase your precision have at it again as often as you can mm. all right take this too a reward for your performance call it Golden Hammer, nice. Talk to the boys whenever you feel like going at it again. And don't worry, I'll reward you next time. Just the same. Got it. Boss, something's going down in the alley up top. All right, hmm. Ain't none of our concern, none wise. I know, but the thing is, I heard somebody mention a Rama company. Oriyama company. Oriyama, aren't those the people you've been looking for? Shit, wasn't counting on hitting the jackpot today. It could give away the whole game if they see my face now. Boss, if it really is Uriyama, Uriyama, uh, I don't know if I can handle them without you. You're damn right. None of y'all are too engaged. Not as long as the assassins of... Not as long as that assassin of theirs with them. Then what do we do? Wait, Saito-san! Could you check it out? You're a better fighter than us. You could hold your own. Please. I say that I'd find the information for I said I'd find the information for you. Want me to see what's going on up there? I would mu I would be much obliged. Fine. I'll take a look. Thank you. The boss and I will hide nearby and keep watch. William said something about an assassin. Should I prepare before I head up? I'm good. I mean it doesn't change your rotating and turret of firing. True. Alright, I'm going up. Can on you, Hajime. Hmm. Is it where they're supposed to be? Huh? Who the hell are you? I heard there was some commotion around here. Was it settled? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, some group of guys calling themselves the Uriyama Company. I see. Who are they, exactly? Mm -hmm. Huh? You looking for them or something? No. Just curious. Curious, huh? Well, that's too bad, but I'm under orders. Hmm. I was told to bring anyone who came around asking questions about the company. Actually, they told me to expect some dirty-looking Ronin. <laughs> You're cleaner than I thought you'd be. I get it. I walked right into your trap. Why don't you make this easier for us and come along without a fight? We've got the numbers here. In that case, let's say we even things out a bit. Huh? Who invited the foreigner? I thought you weren't going to show your face. Let's just say we both caught a lucky break today, Hajime. I ain't about to let a friend face the gowls without backup. 
for an underground gun runner? You've got some sense of honor. I'll take that as a compliment, samurai. What the hell are these two going on about? If you're not going to come quietly, we'll beat you both down. Oh, I promise you. We're done talking here. Screw this. Kill the samurai and that smart mouth kaijin. Okay, motherfucker. How about we clay pigeon this? Oh, I missed. Come here. Fuck you. Bitch. Why didn't I give me the spread? I'll save that. <laughs> it looks so awkward. The problem is that Gunner is not exactly like a very mobile type. You stand pretty still when firing. What the hell just happened? All of those bullets? Now it's your turn to talk. You can run, or you run with the Uriah Company? Uriyama Company? No, I swear, they only hired us to sniff, it, or sniff out people asking about them. I don't know anything more. They must have given you a place to bring people once you caught them. What's the address? They said to tie them up and leave them underneath the bridge. Please, just let me go. I heard fighting this way. Come on. We need to get out of here. Damn it. You have the total. You have the word piss disabled in chat, Lamau. I have a ton of... I have a ton of words that are censored mostly just because they're auto-censored. Literally not even like a minute before you showed up. Meezy triggered auto-mod with the word hillbilly. A friend of mine has also triggered the word whamming. <laughs> God damn, Ariyama. Willie as, a, Willie as they ever were. Or Wily as they ever were. What are those guys really up to? For them to be so careful. The company is a, a mercantile racket? Hell, racket's being too nice of a name for them. They travel around hawking foreign wares, gouging up prices on folks who don't know any better. Obviously, they're, they've made some enemies, so they keep assassins on the payroll to put an end to anybody who makes a fuss. They sound like a definition of a disrespectful or disreputable salesman. Was one of the assassins that did the best for my friend? Or did my best friend and brother, Samon. You said he was killed right in front of you. Back then, I wasn't in the arms business. I was just selling food and other goods from overseas. Samon was a magistrate of Nagasaki. Never treated me like some American hayseed. He helped me out. He became my friend. I like to think he knew I came over here with the best intentions. I wanted to help Japan see what the world had to offer. It's starting to make sense. You ran an honest business, so Samon trade, er, treated you favorably, which probably got in Uriyama's way. Exactly. See, Samon had no tolerate, toleration for anyone who came looking to exploit his people, meaning that getting rid of him and me at the same time would be two birds with one stone for the Uriyama, Uriyama company. Isn't that said Simon? No, it would be Seimon, because Sai would be S-A-I. Seimon, because it would be... Because he's from Nagasaki, so we have to go with Japanese pronunciation. And it would be Sa-E-Mon. Seimon. I looked it up, which is the way I said it. It, it is Simon? Yeah. I guess I'll try saying Simon. Or would it be Saemon? Saemon. Maybe. Because I'm going off of Doraemon. Which would be like the most understandable way of saying it. Uh, but Simon. 
Earth. Simon died and you're still alive. Did they know you survived? If they did, I expect they've come finish the job by now. Right. Simple link in your DMs. Okay. Those men were uh those men we just fought might tell them they saw you. <laughs> this day there this day was always fixing to arrive sooner or later. Time to start making our final preparations. Thank you for your help, Hajime. Come back when you or come back soon and we'll see what else we can do for each other. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Let's cut that off for now. Cause I still haven't progressed anything in story. We did get some new stuff. So Texas two step. Essence of three legged mare. That's a heat action. Okay. And we got a training orb, which means we can finally unlock the strongest move, the Kamaki Tiger Drop. The timing for this seems to be off compared to other games in the series, though. Where it's pre-swing, not during swing. Let's give it a shot. Yo! I'm here for a fight. Are they warriors? Outlaws, okay. My reputation's really high here. me dude Yo. it doesn't do a lot of damage now but that's clean like my gun can dish out more damage yeah 96 meanwhile here's what my gun does <laughs> oh <laughs> holy the damage yeah fuck another side quest wait what's going on Ugh, shut your mouth already more side content you ended his bloodline <laughs> that didn't kill I think I killed him I shot him in the gut <laughs> Spirit fire. Sounds like trouble's brewing. Well, I'll come to you guys later. Okay. Uh, he was here, wasn't he? Yeah, he was here. I'm looking for a guy in here. Watch yourself, Sensei. Please, I always do. No, I'm serious. Foreigners aren't exactly welcome around here right now. Especially not uh, by the Kakume. The Kakume... Joy? Jo... Joy. The who? Kakume Joy. They've been killing pretty much any and all foreigners as of late. They're a group of Sono Joy. Ideally... Idealists who essentially see foreigners as pests. If you're not from around here, then you'll likely get a sword or two pointed your way. <laughs> well, let him point. I love this country, and I'll give ev and I'll give everything I've got for it till my very last breath. That man has a very strong mustache. Surely these idealists will understand that. Perhaps they'll just or perhaps they just need someone to explain. I don't think you're taking this seriously enough. Your enthusiasm's charming, though. I'll give you just that. I'll give you that. Just be careful, all right? Don't go wandering off, a or off to dangerous places by yourself, please. I'll see you tomorrow. The first weeb. No, not even close. We've met like two now. Also, this is the second game. <laughs> that kid worries too much. Anyhow, I should probably go home. Maybe I'll take a shortcut. Oh, 
yeah. There's another game. I believe it's Kazan Kanzan. But yeah. Not even five minutes. He's already ignoring his student's advice. Still, I'm worried about the Kakume group. Joey group myself. Might be a good idea to follow him. I'm forced into it. Am I? No, I'm not. Okay. But yeah, uh, so there is some stuff lost in translation, specifically because we're playing the second game first. I believe it's because it... I love Unreal. It's the best engine, right, everybody? Amazing. Dude... I could literally go like a hundred hours right now just complaining about how the Unreal Engine has fucked this game over. Oh, I found his posse. These are his guys. You looking for you, buddy? I will join your ranks. Stop breaking the game floof. I'm literally just playing it. Hello. We're friends, right? Not friends. Damn. Oh yeah, I do also have to show off the style other exclusive to this game, Wild Dance. Which does a lot of damage. It also has the most intense uh, heat action. just wanted to hang out and then you got a bullet to the face okay Doo -doo -doo. maybe he was a little bit more out here hi other dog can i take you with me too no okay free prize it Price ticket. <laughs> you no, I cannot talk to you. Where is he? There you are. Are you Yakichi Yakichi san? Package for you. We almost pants real hard. We're about to change clothes. I was supposed to do that like at the beginning, but I found so many side quests to do. Ah, oh, there it is. Here's your fee. 6,000, nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, but uh, like the whole outfit's about to change. I just haven't gone to the place. I should probably progress story. I was referring to his breathing during running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was a dog here I also had to feed, so let's drop him some food and then I will go to Terra Day. Here you are. Doggo! It's that dog I fed. Hmm. Seems hungry again. egg. Here you go. You got some appetite. I can't keep beating you forever, though. Shouldn't your owner take care of you? I will say, though, you missed probably one of the silliest, uh, I guess side quest, technically, like Chris, where we had a cat that kept jumping into the river because it enjoyed taking a bath with us. I. Right, let's progress the story a bit. I haven't done a bit of story in a while. Let's progress. 
Ryoma is a Disney princess. Yeah. Apparently I can own three cats and three dogs. <笑>さあ、どうやろ。あ、そうよ。始めさんが出かけてる間にね、あんたに会いたいって人が来ちゃった。俺に<笑> Oh no. No, please don't be Ido. Or Izo. Don't be Izo. I do not want 10 years in the joint. Ido? I don't remember his name. Man killer Izo? I believe he's supposed to be, yeah. Um, just pay attention. You're gonna love who fucking Majima plays. Because <laughs> each of the characters are essentially a reference to a previous Yakuza character. Party nighttime? I should head back to Kiyomizu Temple. Uh. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there? Damn it! Okay, let's go to Gion. Fox. Pretty sure. Whee. It's so funny seeing a modern looking map in a town like this, right? <laughs> to be fair, I think we can agree that the style they chose for this game looks really nice. It came out pretty good. You seem hungry again. Okay, buddy. You can have this rice ball. Here you go. You've got some appetite. Can't keep being here forever, though. Yep. Same dialogue. <laughs> Taxi time. Two D one. Let's depart. I think probably the weirdest thing is specifically the characters they have chosen to bring over from seven. Ooh, glad we got here safely. What do you mean? Why wouldn't it be safe? Well, there's been talk of bandits in the area as of late. The bandits who target uh, pl or planikin bearers specifically. Bandits to target you guys? Yes. And it's a real pain in the neck for us. The bandits cause us to lose business because our customers are scared. That's terribly, it's terrible and unfair. You guys should be careful out there. Huh. I see you to worry over us, mister. We'll do our best to stand up to criminals, so don't forget about us. Okay. Hey there, hey there! Feeling lonely, pal? Oh no. If you've got time, coin, and inclination, there's a place for you. My body house is ripe with cuties! No thanks. Ah, body, please, just hear me out. This brothel's my whole life's work. Fine. Make it quick. Yes, sir! We opened recently, so we're not well known yet, but I'm confident our servers are second to none. My escorts have curves to die for, and each one's soft and supple as a baby. Soft and supple? <laughs> yes. Come inside and lose your worries in a bed of lovers with skin like mochi. I actually can't show this minigame. I literally can't. I will get fucking panned there's nipple and lots of it we got really close with one of the karaoke songs in this game i cannot try anymore uh i should really be on my way oh don't be like that i saw the gleam in your eyes just now thinking of smooth fair skin let me just show you around i said no i'm leaving sorry 
quite a stubborn man. All right, come back if you ever need to change your mind. I went caught us by surprise. I I did do some research. Don't don't look too far into it. Okay, yeah, I was going the right way. Because I was curious why the fuck the video was like that. Yeah, they just tired porn stars and um yeah they, they just wanted a video with porn stars um did you just sniff me uh, excuse me you have the aroma of a bachelor a man who dines alone each night having prepared but one single a single portion a meal as they say for one you kind of smell what the f what? Like Are you asking me if I cook for myself? I'm asking you nothing, merely stating a fact. My nose has been honed, do you see? I am a chef. Alright. Still, it is a rare that I see the, that I detect the scent of another man who works with food. Well, I'm not a professional or anything. I just have a kitchen that I use once in a while. Yes, a man in a kitchen. Quite a rare, or that's quite rare in this country, you know. Okay. That's so. Perhaps, perhaps you might be the one. Huh? I have something to ask of you. Would you be so kind as to hear me out? What do you want? Want? No. Need. I need to taste a meal cooked by you in your kitchen. Okay. Why would you need something like that? I spent years abroad receiving culinary training from many masters of cuisine. Only recently I've ever returned to Japan, in fact. That's impressive, but I still don't... Listen. In my absence, the culture of food in this country has changed. Maybe you haven't noticed, but Japan's been going through a lot of change lately. I have no concern for politics. My interest is solely in the philosophy of cooking. And so it pains me to admit that my time elsewhere has left me ignorant of the flavors preferred by modern Japanese diners. I get it. So you want someone to help, uh, some help getting up to speed. In so many words, yes. But don't you have colleagues you can ask? It's not like I'm an expert in food. No, it has to be you. Home-cooked meals from your kitchen. Only those will serve. Why? First, you seem you seem to me in every way an average man. It's vital to know what average people or average person in, in or what the average person enjoys. Furthermore, only by fusing what I've learned from from what I've learned and what's traditional will I create food that stands the test of time. As for now, the kitchen of Japan is the domain of women. However, I believe an era fast approach an era fast approaching where men will join them. And so, food cooked by a man like you in a kitchen like yours is the ingredient I require. I'm not sure I follow you. But you just want to try a meal I've made. Exactly, yes. So that I may revolutionize this country's cooking. Hmm. I guess even that's one way to change the country. If all I have to do is give them something I cook, I could pitch in. Alright, I don't quite understand how it'll help, but if it... But if I make anything at home, I'll try to bring you some. Will you? My thanks. I'll await your return. <laughs> that was the thing. I saw the man sniffing. I'm like, oh, there's a dog here. No! No, that was not a dog. Where am I going again? Toast up Ben. Could be a trap. Kiko Music Temple. I go too far? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. This one done. I'm gonna crack a fresh one. Uh, thank you kindly. <laughs> Whoo! I did go too far. There's another area I haven't been to, huh? This is a fairly big map, all things considered. Like, when we got here in Kyo, I didn't... 
expect that there would literally be a second map to go to. But when we started, we only had this area available to us. Then this happened. Okay, here we go. Yaddy, yaddy. Oh, you! Yeah, come here. Let's fight. You give me rare shit. Looking at this makes you wish Kagami was bigger. Yeah, that's fair. Off you go! Sign up, bitch! Let's stay in that gold. Yeah, it's this equivalent to Nobirichi, the gold foxes. But they give me rare items. Kiyomi's a temple. It's just up ahead. That's a dead body. Price ticket. Whoa, hey, are you all right? Oh, no, he's alive. The amnesiac. It looks like he hit his head pretty bad. I should treat him right away. What should I hand over? Don't worry, I'm here to help. <laughs> Are you the one that patched me up? Yeah. So, what happened, exactly? Uh, well, I was walking down the path, then... Ah, uh, my head's killing me, and... And I can't remember a thing. Really? If it hurts, then don't force yourself to remember right now. Just take it easy. Mm. Sorry about that. Just, how in the world did I end up on the ground? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have any idea. Right. Makes sense, I guess. Well, thank you for helping me out. Here, this is for you. Did you just pick that off the floor? <laughs> Dick. Feeling any better? Yes, but my head still hurts a bit, so I think I'll just rest here for a while longer. I see. Well, be careful. I will. Sorry for being such a bother. Thanks again. Freedom of taking it in stride. I think he literally was just holding onto a stick as he got up and just hands it to us. It's like, I didn't really need anything, but you know what? I'll take it. I can use this to make a wooden sword. Later. Man, there's so much litter. Out of season one. Oh, statue. That probably means boss fights coming up. I never did see that kid. Also, I forgot. It's... There we go. Yeah, it should be okay. You get a massive inventory in this game, and I love it. Uh, is it who I think it is? A Tosan accent, uh, Tosan accent means quite a few people we know. ケチハンペーターを追ってたら意外な大物が釣れたこれも運命ってやつかまさかこんなところで<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 
土佐浪人中岡慎太郎だよろしくな坂本龍馬さんよ中岡慎太郎トタテイズバックイッツタテイそう東京のお仲間ってわけさ竹千代を追ってるってのは It's our boy! It's our best friend! 誰とも知らないやつの呼び出しにのこのこ出てきたんだ時間はあるんだろちょっと長話に付き合ってもらうぜ中岡と言ったなあんた中岡何者だ吉田東洋様の付き人だ正しくは元だがな東洋様には返しきれねえご恩があるおやすさんのおやすさんか<笑>あの時もお前東洋様をそう呼んでたなあの時うん東洋様が殺された時だよあの時俺もそうだよ。あんた、ちょっとあの場にいたのか。物音に気づいて俺たちが駆けつけた時には、東洋様はすでに切られていた。そして、あそこにいたのがお前と竹地半平太だ。何あんた、なぜ竹地がいたことまで知ってるんだ役人が駆けつけた時。あそこにはもう俺しかいなかったはずだ。言っただろう。俺は東洋様の付き人だったからな。あの日お前らが二人来ることは内密に。Okay. Yeah, this makes sense. そうだったのか。あの後俺は東洋様を守れなかった責任で罷免された。お前らのせいで人生が狂っちまったんだよ。今、ま、俺のことはいいんだ。どっちにしろ、東洋様がいねえのに、白ずっとにしても意味がねえ。だが、東洋様を殺したやつだけは許せねえ。お前のことだ、サクトリオマ。Technically speaking, yeah, we took the fall. 本人を目の前にして。あんたどうするつもりだここで切るか。<笑>悪いな、今のは冗談だ。確かにあの事件、犯人はお前ということになっている。表向きはな。どういうことだ俺は、真の犯人は別にいると睨んでるってことだ。Well, that's why we're here in Kyo. よく考えてもみろ。もしお前が東洋様を殺したとして、お前に一体何の得があった脱藩浪人として故郷にも帰れず、今日で名を隠して生きなきゃならねえ。そこまでして、なぜ東洋様を殺さなくちゃならないお前が何を得たじゃあんたは、あの事件の真犯人を誰だと思ってるんだ竹地半平太だ。俺はそう見てる。なんだと竹地半平太。そして土佐勤王党の大躍進。藩の賛成だった東洋様が生きていれば、竹地もここまで土佐を思い通りにはできなかったはずだ。うん、ましてや竹地は上司にまで昇格しているこれ以上に得したやつが他にいるか、so、he thinks it, he thinks it was Takechi who did it but the thing is we were there we know who killed him and we're searching for him タケチを追ってたってわけかああでやつを嗅ぎ回ってるうちに偶然あんたに出くわしたってわけだなるほどな確かにあんたの推理は筋が通ってる。だがな、あんたは大事なものを見落としてる。なんだってあんたらが駆けつける前に、もう一人あそこにいたんだ。覆面の男がな、俺たちは見たんだ。そいつがおやっさんを切るのを。犯人はそいつだ。うん、実はな、俺もあの事件の真相が知りたくてその男を追ってるんだそうだったのかどうやらお前は俺の知らねえことをだいぶ掴んでるらしい今度は俺が話を聞く番だな
Yeah, so Ryoma's gonna catch uh, Nakaoka to where we are right now. Where we've essentially found where we need to be with all the Tensei Rishi styles. そこ俺もよし。なら決まりだ。They <笑> might be a problem now. <gasps> Do we get to fight with our new friend? あいつらは。やべえな。戸崎の音だ。俺が竹地を嗅ぎ回ってたのを感づかれたか。中岡慎太郎やな。連中の目当ては俺だ。あんたに逃げろ。この状況で見逃してもらえるとも思えねえが。
bitch. Save this. What's this? Hey, silver is nice. A gunnery unit. really good there. <laughs> Here's hammer. That shit's mine. Ow! Oh, I was. Oh, holy shit! Hold on. Gimme, 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 gimme. He's following me. <gasps> Wait. I, I'm being very stupid. This would actually be a good time to bring out those Astrons I was given earlier. Also, he hits hard. <laughs> he hits really hard. Can't enjoy a flu face some more. No, I'm sorry. Get some rest though. I know you're really tired. Ah, oh, I dodged into it. I'm gonna go to a katana so I can walk. are getting blocked so like I have to switch to one side then the other rinse and repeat no さすがに新選組の隊長になるだけあるな。大した腕だ。いや、あんたも案外やる。ま、今後ともよろしく頼むぜ。これから俺も寺田屋に拠点を移す。お互いの情報はそこで交換しよう。それでいいな。わかった。あんたはまだ竹千を追うのか。いや、竹千の方は一旦やめだ。それにあいつは土佐に帰っちまったからな。俺も新選組を探ってみるさ。ちょっと待て。竹千が土佐に帰ったんだと。知らなかった
It would have worked had it been dimmer, but the thing is, it was way too haloed. Man. I wonder what engine this game runs on and has really shitty lighting all the time. Especially with halos that are not properly done. Dragon Engine, of course. I mean, the Dragon Engine had its own problems, and I recently just watched a couple videos on Yakuza 1, 2, and they did the Kolamis with them as well. And yeah, I realized that some of the lighting in the game is just off. I would have to go into a lot of minutia about it, and it would be a lot easier if I just were doing it while I played the game, but since I was trying to play Kiwami 2 at least a little fresher, uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't watch a video like that beforehand. A messy investigation. So that's the next chapter. We're on chapter 5. Not sure how many are in this game. Don't tell me, Maisie. <laughs> oh, you get to see the colorful cast. Do we need the update? Yeah, we'll go through it because we're, we're about like six hours between like how much we've seen of this in a couple days. Let's do the recap. Shut down before you can even say something. What? Oh, yeah, because you spoiled how many chapters were in the fucking game. I spent six months building up to myself. After waiting two years, I had every right to say something. The Iron Code. So this might introduce us to the rest of the mechanics we haven't gotten into yet. Ah, they have a nice little blue trim. That was your skill. I didn't ask anyone to do anything! Other than, like, figure out, uh, what was it? Was it the spirit? No, no, I don't remember what it was. Here's our new coat. Officially after this, we are joining... We are part of the Shinsengumi. Fully. Captain. <laughs> Pay your bills. Okamisa? <laughs> <laughs> so now this is what we're going to look like. Toto was going to explain my work to me. I should head to the barracks. This is what we're going to look like for the rest of the game. However, interestingly enough, we can actually go back and take this off. I'm not going to because, well, it looks badass, honestly, but this is the Makoto surcoat that we've seen in other games as an equipment item. Uh, there you go, check on the farm. Woo! <gasps> dog! Right, we have a dog. Hello, dog. You're not looking too 
You're not looking too bad. Did you get some attention? You need a petting. <laughs> yes. Huh, no response at all. Hey. The Shinsen Gumi code is a pretty iconic code, not gonna lie. Yeah, the Makoto Sir code is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, Haruka doesn't know. I don't think Haruka wants to see me in that. I want to raise the farm as much as possible. Break her heart, Floof. No, she's so, she's so pure and innocent, even in this game. Okay, let's get some more vegetables. Let's get a bigger variety. I think I wanted cucumbers, but I couldn't fit them before. Uh, we got one by four. I'll do two things of sweet potatoes. Get some normal potatoes. Oh. Uh, I need something that's a two by two or one by two spinach. Let's do spinach and spinach. There we go. Where's our cat? Oh, there's something here. Egg. Oh, right, we have a chicken coop. Where is our cat? We have a cat. Where is there? Inside? There you are. Hi, buddy. Hello, Snowball. Hungry. The feline feeler <laughs> or feeder. I need a bite. Guess you're full. Cooking time. So he just wanted anything. We don't. I need more produce. Let's head. Let's hit up that produce store at some point. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm fine. Did I just make Haruka disappear? Uh, okay. You've moved over here, champ! Alrighty. Okay. I think I need to hit up the grocer. I know I can get everything made, but... You know. Might as well buy a couple stuff just to get me started. Let's do four of each thing on this list. That's five. Just to get me started. You deserve some prize tickets. Here, have five. Thank you. Ah, is this your first time shopping here? As a matter of fact, it is. In that case, I'll throw in these as well. On me. Three potatoes, three daikons, and three tomatoes. All this? Really? Free sample. Think nothing of it. Hope to see you here again. <laughs> you treat your customers well. I'll be back, I'm sure. Thank you kindly. That's a lot of free samples. Yeah. That's also like the 18th person we found that has the uh, the whole mechanic where we have to raise their bond up. I wish I was kidding. Like almost everyone we found has had that. He is still busy. And this dog is still hungry.
I can feed him some stuff. Dogs like strawberries. I actually know this. Dogs really like strawberries. One of my favorite videos is just that dog, like the mother dog and the baby dog, just uh, feeling better. You're always at the spot. You should move. You should move around a bit. It's not good for dogs to lay on their side all day. Okay, I'll take you for a walk. Come on. Dogs will eat damn near everything. Huh, you don't want to go. Is there some reason he doesn't want to move? It doesn't seem like his owner is taking care of him. What's going on? Uh, but one of my favorite videos is like uh, a mother dog and a baby dog or a puppy. And they're just eating a cabbage together. <laughs> That's it. It's so cute. I don't know why. Like, they're just munching on a cabbage, and you just get, like, the loud crunching, and it just, it seems so wholesome for some reason. I don't know why. Like, help. I'm gone insane. Dogs eating cabbage. It's so cute. Hmm? Mister, I apologize, but we need to rest a bit. My partner just hurt his leg. Hey now, you alright? Oh crap. This ain't good. Is it that bad? No, mister. Behind you! Behind you! Mm -hmm. Ah, that's quite a few of them. Oi. Hey there, fellas! Where you off to? These guys must be those uh, planican hunters. Planican hunting bandits everyone's talked about. We're done for! Bandits, huh? Damn it! If my partner hadn't hurt his leg, we'd be at... Or this wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we struck pay dirt. A samurai won't have tons of money, but this katana will fetch plenty. Leave all your stuff right here, samurai. We might actually let you live. I don't think so. But, mister, if you don't want to get hurt, you best get out of here now. <laughs> You got a spy and I'll give you that. But you really think you can win with this many against you? What would you say if I could? Uh. I'd say, hey boys, strip whatever you can off this guy, including his life. All right. Aggressively eats a cabbage. Yeah, the one that like violently eats a cabbage as it's being pulled away from its owner. That one's so fucking like funny. But, like, there's a really wholesome one. I'll have to find it later. But it's just so cute for some reason. Oh, I thought a lot. This one's gonna be fun. Bitch! Sorry, you didn't just pull a gun out on them. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> pull the strongest te sword technique of them all. Gun? <laughs> Please let us go! Uh. I will! But in return, don't you ever let me catch you bothering a planican, a planican bearer again. Caught that? That reminds me of the thing where it's just like, I've learned from the Westerns how to fight uh, their style. <laughs> and then she just pulls out a gun? Samurai, sir, I owe you my life. My partner's leg is feeling better, so we can head to the city now. Please, go inside. Uh. Great. Hi, mister. We're so very grateful you taught those bandits a lesson. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. I had to defend myself anyway, after all. Oh, come on now. Don't say that. They were 
Uh, they weren't just troubling you. They were troubling every one of us. All the planet bearers will be grateful for what you did. Anyway, Mr. Saito, to, uh, to properly thank you, I'm going to post some planet bearers uh, planning bearers like myself at places you tend to frequent. Okay. Really? You sure they won't mind? Not at all. We all owe you. Of course, I'm not saying we'll work for free. We'll just be convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it'll also, it'll also be a shrewd business move. But thank you. We happily await your continued patronage. Rock and I, Kano River is now location of planet bearer. Nice! Those are two areas I do actually frequent pretty much. Cause... Kama River, it was right... Where was that? There's one... I can actually just look this up. They do not show on this. That's fun. Where was the Kama River again? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Hold on. Oh! Okay, no, yeah, that is really nice, because that's right next to the fucking casino. And the other one was... That one was there before. Well, uh, let's go to Mibu. Mibu is where we're supposed to go. I misclicked. Okie dokie. Uh, okay. Time to go to work. I hope we see the Majima stand in. Okay, that's Toto. I'm not looking for Toto. Where is he? Where is he? I figure he should be around. It'd be fun to talk to him. Though he could also just be taking a nap. I mean, I literally also have a book in my pocket that will let me just show off who he is. But I feel it'd be more fun to introduce. Okay. Probably have to progress in story. I don't see any of the other major characters. Oh, that is empty though. And it's full. What? Empty it out. Iron scrap. Whoa! What was that camera angle? No. Can't go in there. Okay. え、さあ、こちら。どうも、斉藤さん。お、羽織バッチリ決まってるじゃないですか。体調の仕事を一通り教わるんだったな。はい。じゃあ、早速始めますか。ああ、頼む。まずは、豚所内を案内します。ついて
to immerse yourself on the day per day. Well, I get that, but the thing is, I don't feel immersed. I just feel annoyed. Thought I saw that filled. Oh, fancy. Yeah, we're in the fancy Makoto circuits now. Uh, I will say I could completely ruin the immersion of this game, like, entirely, if I just buy a $7 DLC. Put a family guy video below. <laughs> What else lives there? There's a DLC that somewhat pisses me off. Because there's one that's the season pass sort of shindig. And it's like, cool, you get like all the stuff from there. But it also locks two completely exclusive DLCs in it. And I think it's just taking the piss. The first DLC is the max difficulty called Ishin. This game did let us start on uh, Legendary, but we're on hard just because I didn't want to blow a gasket today or any other day. But the fact that there's a higher difficulty above that scares me. And I want to play it. <laughs> Some fucking lunatic. Uh, better listen carefully. What was the other thing? Masochist. Yeah. The other thing was a. Uh, there's a character for a later mechanic, and it sucks because the character stand in who it is is fucking Ichiban Kaska. They tell me you're a new third division captain. Saito-san, was it? Hmm. Yes. I'd say you have the look of a leader. My name is Sekino Montaro. I'm the mission assistant of the third Divi or for the third division. A pleasure to serve you, Captain. Please allow me to explain the details of our work. Right. Okay. So this is the thing. This is the thing I was talking about. Right, this is the important stuff. The true purpose of the third. If you miss any of what I said about the explanation, click how to play in the menu uh, to go it over again. Now, without further ado, as you know, the Shinsengumi state mission is to maintain peace in Kyo. You'll be expected to lead your soldiers on missions. For starters, allow me to introduce you to the man of the third division. Hey, Tanamurakun, come here. Or Tamurakun. What can I do for you? This here is Captain Saito. I'm sure you've heard of him. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. Why did this become a dating sim sort of thing? Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. I'm Tamura Saizo of the 3rd Division. It's great to meet you. And now we get a stats. The rest of the troops and I will accompany you on missions in the form of cards. We will all have a trooper ability each. Once or once those are activated, we can assist you in various ways, Captain. Naturally, as we fight alongside you, we'll develop as soldiers, and our health and charge speed will increase. The health of the troops will get added to your own during the mission, and charge speed is the time it takes for us to use our abilities. We're all ready to help you keep the peace in Kyo, Captain. With that, now seems like the best time to explain our operations. Of course, speak to me if any or speak to me later if anything if there's anything you need help with. For now, please select the formation. Gonna be AFK pair of it. Okay, I got it. Wait, in this world, Saito Hajime and Sakamaru are the same person. Yes, Saito Hajime is a alias he is currently going under because he was exiled from his hometown. So he's been under this alias while looking for the murderer of his father. 
Uh, you can form a squad of four troop, uh, four troopers. By coordinating their squad with their fighting style, the third division will offer powerful support to their captain. Next, let's edit your squad. Select Edit Troopers. Select the empty corporal spot and choose the uh, choose from the list of corporals from the list. Why don't we have Tamura Saizo be the corporal at this time? Oh, right, I have Nyaners in here, too. <laughs> Every troop has a separate corporal trait. Those skills are always in effect, which can render them vital in a mission to a finish in success. What the fuck? You have that? It was free. <laughs> it came with the game. <laughs> uh, this concludes the explanation of how to use your troops. You'll be leading your troops on missions from now on. Loop! Sometimes free is not good, but they came as level 90. Why the fuck? Uh, as a leader, keep an eye on morale and treat men uh, to a meal now and then. Now, let's return to the menu. Lastly, the third division also carries out secret orders given us directly by the Imperial Court. We must identify uh, deficit factor or deficit factions all while exterminating the bandits who caught who caves on the outskirts of of Kyo as their strongholds. Uh, uh. Captain, you've been tasked with taking out the bandits in the caves. Our mission is top secret and highly dangerous. Even the previous captain, uh, Yamanami, struggled with it. In fact, the mission is so grueling that some troops may desert after too many failed attempts. I believe it would be wise to ask for, or ask help from a careful, of a careful selection of your troops available. Now then, to set out on a mission, select dispatch. Select the bandit cades as the dispatch location. As you can see, we have many enemies to take care of, but, uh, but for now on, choose defeat the sword squad, and you're off. May you have good fortune on the battlefield. So yeah, welcome to the Battle Dungeons! So now we have traits on our stuff, and when we hit specific things, we can activate troop skills. Those cards we had had like different abilities and other stuff like that. So like, as you'll see, I've got cards on me now. If I hold L2, I can select their stuff. And this it goes for each of my styles, but I'm forced in here a sword. That's interesting. Okay. It wouldn't let me defeat the enemies until now. I thought this was like a passive income. I was so confused why they were talking about charge times. No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is like the main gimmick of this game is this. Like, this is where I'm gonna get all of my upgrades and stuff, basically, is from here. Neptune game did this. Also, mine. Come here! Man was getting too good with stabs. 
uh, that did this specific thing? I do not remember, actually. Yeah, this feels like a completely different game now because I've got like superpowers and stuff. That's a cute fucking reference. <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> That's cute. Looks like this is the last room. Should I just go in? Yes. Okay, I can switch my styles. I was wondering why I couldn't before. But yeah, uh, drinkable. I have bamboozled you. I have, I have convinced you to buy me a second dungeon crawler. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> You have graced my addiction yet again with this one. I already spoiled myself with this game. Why do you seem so surprised about the outcome of this? I knew it was too hard. Is it now? Mission complete. I can go back to the barracks now. So, I don't know if you guys want to see me do, like, all of this. This is a pretty long thing to do. A trooper is leveled up. All the caps. Okay. That's a lot of virtue, yep. Great work out there, Captain. You really beat those bandits back. However, stronger foes are hidden deeper in those caves, so make sure to not let your guard down. If there's anything you need help with, you can come check out how to play in the notebooks through the pause menu. Now, let's head back to the barracks. And yeah, that's the gimmick. As for supplementing your numbers, the Shinsengumi doesn't recruit openly for these secret missions, you understand? As such, we ask that you see to bolstering your units on your own. I have to recruit people? Yes, sir. You'll find the city wants uh, not for young men aching to battle. Uh, wants not for young men aching to battle. Often they'll pick fights with passerbyers for a lack of any better purpose. That said, if you'd rather not be so hands-on, I could search for candidates in your stead, so long as you provide funds. Ah, I see. Additionally, I have been known to track down deserters for you, uh, for your procedures, Captain. Uh, deserters for your procedure, Captain Yamanami. They frequently hide out in Murkurogai, if I'm not mistaken. Yamanami brought the factors back into the fold, huh? He sounds like an unusual man for the Shinsengumi. Well, towards the end, he was really hurting for troops to deal with the bandits. Um, don't let the deputy chief know about that. The, or that, Iron Code and all. Regardless, I hope now you can appreciate that you need to keep your rank strong. 
Gather troops by recruiting the sh off the streets, funding search, tracking down deserters, or even enlisting defeated foes. Ooh. All right, got it. I look forward to working with you. Please, let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Toto-san is waiting, I believe, so that will be all. Thank you for your time, sir. That's a lot of virtue. How much do you even get? I don't know. Seventy-five k. Nice. Oh yeah, elite troopers have been unlocked. These are content creators. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Oh. Damn. One of them is literally a VTuber. <laughs> the sun's already set. Time to head back to Teradea. You can obtain these elite troopers from the download content Elite General Troops card bundle for free. I've already done that. What brings you here today? Battle! I am logging off when you are playing this part well i don't even know what style nanners helps out i'm actually kind of curious now uh nanners she's a healer we also got kenny omega as in the wrestler uh Raul Coley? I don't know who that is. We got Vampy Bite Me, Alex Moko Mokala, and Con Carnage. Mm -hmm. like, that's not too bad. Yeah. Probably not going to use it. I don't know. Who are those guys? Content creators for the most part. Like, I could use her, but... Eh. I'm not sure what I would even use her for. You're apparently for gunners, so fuck it, stick in there. This is... I want to pop out my brawler. I guess I'll put her in brawler. But yeah. If I wanted uh, Kasuga Ichinjo, also known as Kasuga Ichiban, I would need to go and buy a DLC. and vampirism though so maybe a gunner mm -hmm. it's not even close to majima construction it's more like a dungeon crawler <laughs> like just a bog standard dungeon crawler recruitment part, yeah. Yeah, it's just pay money, get stuff. I believe also there are characters we can get via the side quests we've done, so yeah.
Yeah, I can... I'm playing the game. I'm not watching a really poorly done RTS. Also, that auto did that. XCOM where? Eyes. Ha! <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. Aha, there's the first one. Two more left. Looks like this is the last room, but I have a... Okay. That's a sword. Imported revolver. So you can just straight up find weapons here too. I guess that's what the donation and disassembly are for then. Probably also take off these uh, these rounds because they're far harder for me to get right now because I can't just straight up buy them. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want me to do this whole thing on stream. It's easily going to take up the most time. There's a lot. Is currently active with Medical Trooper, Rally, Office Rally, Medical Trooper. No. Up to you, Flash. Well, the thing is, here's how much I have for just the first one. And, okay, so that's how many I have left to do on each of them. So, I currently have 38 missions to do. I might like do this incrementally if it's the case but yeah if like you guys want me to do it i can i'm just it's gonna take a lot longer if i'm doing this and the side quests so you'll have to bear with me on some parts It's not the one I wanted, I wanted the heavy shot. Is a higher quality leather breastplate. I could actually use that. It's not better than what I have, though. Damn. Why couldn't I grab you? Bitch, bitch. Do 
you're seeing me play it, it's not bugging. <laughs> For months. True, but this is like a completely different experience, and I could easily see this like maybe adding an extra two full streams alone. That's without including the fact that it's like, oh yeah, you gotta do all the side quests still. I can just open it by hitting it? Interesting. Yeah, this is also going to be the best way for me to get money and items without having to resort to gambling. It's probably also going to be the best way to get like purple items or new equipment. Bloody hand here. Let's go at this with the power of my fists. I'm kind of sad that I don't have access to the Costco Ichiban. What the fuck? Where was my dodge? Bro, what the fuck is going on? He stood up? For how long, though? I don't know why it wouldn't accept my dodge. Other breastplate. Godly, deadly. Okay. 
Yep. Scrap, dude. What was my combat rating? Deadly! An A in everything. The Abyss stares back. Okay. Oh, I can promote people? Oh. to do on this one. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually okay with the autos. Okay. I'll pop out of this for now. I want to see some stuff. That always lowers morale a bit. A simple way to offset that is to provide soldiers food. Please let me know if there's anything. Yeah, I also just can't bum rush them. <laughs> Captain Saito! And you are? I'm with the 8th Division, Captain Toto's troop. Right. So, what do you want? Did the captain share any details to with you about another recent deserter? Another one? No, he didn't. I knew it. Come on, Captain. Well, during the mess that the Captain... That was Captain Yamana... Yamana's desertation... Or desertion, another trooper in the 3rd Division also made his escape. Ah, 3rd Division. So he would have been one of mine. Yes, sir. His name is Akimoto. And we're not sure where he's gone. The investigation team is still track, still trying to track him down. But as soon as his location is known, you'll, you've been ordered to capture him as third division captain. Oh, so I'm starting off by cleaning up the last guy's mess. Unfortunately, yes, sir. And Captain Toto was supposed to be the one to inform you, but I, uh, you see how that went. That's all right. I've got my orders. Find a deserter, Akimoto. And I will return to my duties. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. Wait. We're getting to the fabled time. The time when Floof Stream will end. We do get the stylish shower. Yep. Well, the captains do. The others are in just the blue, like, normal armor. I could use them outside of combat? Or outside of the dungeons? That I was not aware of. Okay, maybe I will have to pay attention to that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's first go see my friend over here. Yeah. Inside the dungeons, I thought they were going to be more important. Outside, this changes the game. Maybe I should go buy that DLC. <laughs> 
Pay to win, everybody. How much is it? Seven dollars? It's too much. It's a joke. I'm not gonna do it. Anything new? No. I need a lot of stuff for these. Well, I can make that actually. It's not very strong. Yeah, okay, I need a purple. Which is what the gold hammers are for. Then there's the Kuwami hammers. Radiant Drunkard. A Masamune. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get down and dirty on this thing. Because, like, man, there is a lot to this. I can make the radish. Sure. Yeah, by the way, this shit costs a lot of money. Like, uh, you can't see how much fully because my head's in the way. Allow me to show you uh, the strongest sword uh, that's just on the list, which I believe should be this one. How much do you think it is? It is five million dollars. So I'm going to have to enjoy some more cock racing later. But yeah, the worn sword, by the way, allows me to actually achieve these. And you thought it was a bad thing to get. I need tons of grinding stones, though. Then I need gold medicine cases. Or, yeah, for this one. And then if I put a Kiwami hammer on it, it has five slots to play with. Adds the light element and increases the effect of its own element by 75%. Quite good. Then there's the golden sword, which is one of the ones I wanted. Last of dragons. Yeah. There's tons of weapons on this list, by the way. There's a lot to this, and I do want to get really into it. Let's use a bronze. Yeah, it looks fucking awesome. But yeah, that will be obtained a cracked cutting board. Gear can be reduced. Reduce the damage you take from enemies, but if you to make it strong enough, you may be, you may not even be able to endure a single hit from a foe. Many of the materials you can use to enhance gear can be obtained by doing things in your second home. Whenever you want better gear, try another life. Okay. Take care of myself. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's bad news, bears. The fast travel isn't currently operational. You're back. Thinking of buying something? Yes, sir. 
Oh, you actually have a new weapon. Uh, yeah, he can sell me basically anything that I need for other stuff. We collect this prize ticket. Here's two. Dog dog. I want to be able to at least access another life, so... Let's see if we can. Aha, I was right. There's this cutscene we must go through. さいと初めさん。私ですよ。誰だ。おっと、失礼しました。お話するのはこれが初めてでしたね。新生組。Oh よろしくお願いします。山崎進む。It's ここは寺田屋へ帰るには必ず通る道ですからね。俺のことも、それくらいは調べがついてるってわけか。そういうことです。これからはくれぐれもお行いにはお気をつけください。どこで誰が見ているかわかりませんから。Well, サイトさんに一任されているかと。ああ、そう聞いている。で、秋元ってのはどこだ。祇園の日向屋という店です。なるほどな。わかった。すぐ向かう。初の任務ですから。くれぐれもご注意を。では、失礼いたします。Very interesting seeing Junji Han be like he is right now. But yeah. So Akimaru did flee, but did make a stop or but made a stop at Hinata. That's in Gyon. I need to go over there fast. I wonder, did we get anything new in here? Oh, welcome, Satosan. Usual is 500 miles for song. Would you like to sing? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Do we have new songs? This is not one I could sing. I know it's this. I know it's that. Nope. Nope. We do not. I was wondering because I think a couple of the captains should have a song. I remember seeing one with the Majima stand in. Something came up. I understand. I don't know if Lycris is there, but I guess since we're not seeing him, I can just show who it is. <laughs>
Okay. I don't know if I should deal with the deserter right now. Because I feel like it would be a good idea to be able to do some stuff. So Gion is basically just where I can't go. Should be fine. Oh, wait. No, I am forgetting something we should do. Rescue a dog! It's that dog I fed. <laughs> Seems hungry again. More rice ball. Here you go. I'm the only one feeding you. Wait, you won't go anywhere else? His owner passed away. What? That dog. He belonged to an old man who lived nearby. He would wait here every day and welcome him home from work. Everyone in the neighborhood could see how loyal he was. But one day there was an accident at the old man's job. The dog must not understand. He's still waiting for his owner to come back. I see. It's Hachiko. That's why you didn't want that's why you don't want to leave, huh? That dog deserves a good home, but he's not willing to go with anyone else. You can't live out here like this. Something has to be done. Boy. Listen to me. I'm sorry, but your owner isn't coming. I know it's sad, but you have to accept it. Last thing you would want is for you to give up. You need to stand on your own feet now. Be strong. I hope by the next time I've come around, you've taken at least a few steps. Ah, it moved! Well done. If you'd like, I'd be happy to take care of you. What do you say? Hmm. Alright, sounds good to me. Why can't I name him Hachiko? Come on! Game, this is the one thing... They're so stupid names, too. I wanted to name him Hachiko. Is it sad that the best name on this list is fucking Bean? <laughs> yeah, come on, Bean. You're a good dog. Let's go home. That was the single most disappointing thing that has happened to me all day. And I almost got jumped today, so... That should just show you how shit that was. Violence happening against me was less disappointing. Or, like, implied violence against me was less disappointing than not being able to call a dog Hachiko. Do, do, do. Hello, Hachiko. Would you want to play? Hound helper? Oh! He seems pretty satisfied. Yo! Dog do tricks! You, what about you? My dog did a fucking flip! You do a flip. No, oh, you can flip! My dog has a flash kick. What do you have? Or 
Okay, let's dump some points into here. Deluxe cat bed, ultra cat bed, deluxe chicken coop. Let's furnish that interior. Easy has a knife. Why do you have a knife? Hello, chickens. Let's play with the cat. Hello, snowball. That is the door. Are you away from the door, snowball? Yes, you are. Yeah, they're already in the pen. Are you ignoring me? You're looking a bored. All right, time for some cooking, Mama. Time for some pickles. My girl just ate pickles. Just fresh pickles. Premium homemade pickles. Yes, hearty miso soup. I'm not done. I'm no, I wasn't done. Come on. As you meet a good day, what a good night. I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Well, I got to keep this too. Like, it's healing items I can use. Look at some orders. happens at bath time. I'm now curious. Be nice to relax for a minute. Grabbing my keyboard. Okay, it's pretty tame. <laughs> it's just in a bucket. Mm, water's just right. I've never felt cleaner. 
Yeah, the keyboard to hit the hotkey. <laughs> Floof in a bucket. Bucket floof. He is bucketing. Hello, dogs. Chickens. Pot. Sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna get rid of the daikons. Time for us to maximize the space. Well, I don't really need the broad beans. Garlic. Garlic. Look at that garlic area. Let's go. Okay. Um... I should probably call it for today. Let's put our orbs in. Okay, swordsman. I'm going to go further into it for extra health. I'll put two in. Swordsman's one I seem to neglect a lot. Ice water. Let's get working on learning how to do those. Right, Moonlight Sakura was the one. Yeah. Dance of Morning. Okay. Cool. Uh, wow, we're thirty-three percent done. There, it's nice. All right. I take it. Oh my god. There is how many friendships I need to do. That is forty-seven. Oh my. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Cool. I'm uh I'm cringing very hard on this one. So, I feel like I should call it for stream today. I've been going at this for a while. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the battling dungeons off stream for now. If I find them boring, like maybe after two or three sessions of it, I'll see what happens. But um, I think the only thing I'm going to do off stream is like maybe grind money. Because money, money is important in Yakuza and it's even more necessary here. All right, fertilizer. Okay. Premium hearty miso soup. Okay. Yeah, I just need money. Like, lots of money, lots of virtue. I just need that. 